But yeah, no, it's, it, this is always the this is always the weirdest part, right? Because you're talking to the car, and then it's like open up and like, hey, yeah, where are you? Like, now, we're now the, we got to start it yeah, again. Like, like, we, yeah, like, yeah. like we were just talking to the car, right? Mm. But um, no, um, I was trying to think about it, um, like how it was that we actually met, and like mm. I don't remember the yeah. specific first time. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I I think the first time because. Um, uh, when I came here, it was 2014. Yeah, and uh, we you got, we still had the yak yaks uh, uh, on the go, and then uh, yeah, and then um, then I was like, you know, I, I used to come, I, I was a fan of comedy. I used to come to the Trapper Jones as, as well. Yeah, 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 and then they were they were the first time that I meet you guys, like you, Luke Lawrence, everyone. Right, like, the trappers. So that was that was my first impression of like you know, uh, the the co- the comedy. How that's how I see you guys, and then like and then after that, it was just downtown. We were meeting each other, like you know, that that was the that was the that was like, I guess. The yeah. Last time. Yeah. Cause, cause, cause my memory is just like, I just remember like, mm. I just remember like always bumping into you downtown. In Dooley's. Right. Yeah. In <laughs> yeah, Dooley's. And I Dooley's. remember yeah. Dooley's. So yeah, my, yeah. so my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the picture yeah. that we took, that was, that was there. Like, yeah. I, I, lo- I love to play pool. Like when, I, when you come downtown, like right. I'm getting me and my friends getting together, have a couple of drinks and like that's, that was my warm up, right? And then, right. And then that's how, how we went up. I guess like me, me and you, probably that was our base camp, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we come there, have some drinks and then go out and then come back again. Like, that's, uh, that's how that's how I guess we met. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I remember I met because that was if you had that if I had to get so I'm glad I know that mm-hmm. but you so like because my my thing would be like if I had to guess I'm like Dooley's right yeah, like, but yeah. but it was before but but I always but I always knew like I always knew it wasn't <laughs> Dooley's but yeah. it's but my memory tells me Dooley's because I yeah. can't remember really before yeah, but, like, but I, spe- remember I remember mostly, I uh, I remember being at Dooley's remember t- I was taking a picture and I remember um and I and I, I remember. Feeling like that wasn't like our first time, like yeah. hanging out or talking or laughing, carrying on or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's the it's the first memory I got. Yeah, like could could, could it, be the first time could be like you and Trapper Johns, like I was booing you or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It could be one of those. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but 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 I was around the vicinity. I was I wasn't not in front of your face, but I was around, you know, somewhere around the crowd. I, I was uh, I was a fan before you knew the you know we met each other. Like so that's it. So what's always fascinated me. About you, I am not just you, others like you. Yeah. But, like, you're from Iran. Yeah. And I'll never forget when you told me that. I was like, Iran? Because I believe you were the first person I ever talked to from Iran. <laughs> Could be. And, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, and since then I've talked to others, but I just remember being, every time I talk to anybody mm. that's, like, outside of... Outside of Canada, America, and probably just like, like, and the, U- the UK, so like yeah, like like a- like England, Scotland, Ireland, just the basic ones. Anywhere outside of there, so pretty well anywhere in the world. When you're in Newfoundland, I'm fascinated <laughs> <laughs> by, yeah, like by by why the fuck they're in Newfoundland and how they heard about it and what brought them here and how they got here and. And then, but then it always says, well, it's usually university, usually. Yeah. It's, it's, it's university or refugee. You, usually, it it, be, uh, like, right, is, is one a of Majority the, university. Like, you know, right. the, the, the money is the most thing, that, the, it's the, uh, the only thing that a lot of people are coming right. from, uh, from outside. But we have a lot of people here from Syria and Ukraine yeah, that's, that, that that's are refugees. Yeah, recently. Yes. That's the recently. That was, yeah. like, I think, I think the, the, if you're given, like, you know, I don't know, seven years ago, ten years ago, that was, the story was, like, everybody was coming for uh, education. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And Ma- Mon was one of the good, the universities, was good university, and was also, like, you know, in terms of... Uh, uh, the uh, this uh, what what you pay for the tuition and stuff like that. It was more balanced and stuff right. like that. But like you, but you know, from from this is like as much as surprising as for you. It's surprising for immigrants that how we do it with <laughs> because because from the point that like I uh, come uh, when I was like I got the scholarship and I didn't know anything about Newfoundland. Right. So I said, I said, I might as well, like, if, if anyone wants to Google it, please Google it now. It, that thing hasn't changed. You Google Newfoundland, you will see the pictures, the beautiful pictures, maybe in Bonavista, like, you know, some kids running in the, in the like, I don't know, green, like, areas, like, yep. with flowers, Pastures, like, they're blowing stuff, something. Yeah. Those, those are the pictures you see. You see the picture of cruise ships, like, you know, whales, like, watching, like... You never see something like a snowmageddon or like, you know, <laughs> like you never see these things, right? 
<laughs> and then yeah. and then I said, okay, the, I'm I'm prob- I'm probably coming like to one of the most tourismic uh, area. It's probably like you know Bali number two or something. I don't know. But uh, the thing is, uh, when I landed in Newfoundland, I I knew I'm coming to Canada. Like I was I was sure. Okay, Canada is cold. Iran is not is not is not cold. Maybe on top of the mountains is cold. But it's not as cold as Canada. We seen. I, I had an idea. I prep myself. Like I had. I've got a like good boots, like thick jacket, like puff jacket, and stuff like that. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, then I landed like right into the Newfoundland. And I remember it was January 2014, and uh, we had something called blizzard. Happening. <laughs> so, so I, I know, I know. You know, blizzard. The last time I heard about it, it was a gaming company or something. Like I had no idea. I've never seen blizzard. Like I've we've seen a snow. But we've never seen these type of storms that you guys got different name for it, right? So it was a it was a snow like you know minus thirty outside. My body never like experienced below minus two. The minus thirty outside, and the power plant went off. Like after sixty, I don't know six years. Yeah, the, the, it the was off. The blackouts. Yeah, it was. It was. So that was my first day in Newfoundland. No, I, I was in like I don't know. I was in uh, freshwater apartments. It was minus thirty outside. Minus 15, 20 out inside because there was no heat. Yeah, yeah. There was no heat, right? So, so my first actual big viral video, like was, my proper viral, was I did a video because everything was gone. Yeah. So I thought to myself, I was out in the parking lot. It was freezing. Like you said, it was like minus <laughs> yeah. 20 out, minus 30 out. It's so cold. And I did, I was like, everyone's power's out. But I was like, yeah. But everyone still got the cell phone batteries. The whole city ba- was shut down. Right. Yeah. So I was like, but everyone's got their cell phone batteries until they die. Right, so yeah. I was like, so I was like, everybody is on their phones right now. So I was like, now is the perfect time to make a video and upload it. Upload while people it. Still got juice. So I did it. Right, I did this video like making fun of like, I, I, what I did was it was um, I took like a bunch of different open line collars. Yeah. That I heard earlier that day, and like I kind of like molded it all in like. So that was your first basically. All into like one character. Video content and stuff in media. And, they did and put my to own make. flair on it. Yeah, and I boom and I put it out there. It was just two minutes, and like then my hands, like my hands couldn't take the cold anymore. <laughs> I was just bare hands, right? Yep. So I was just like, I saw. I was like, all right, time to wrap this up. And I did it. Boom, uploaded. The thing just blew up. Blew and, then, up. And, and CTV, yeah. National News, they took it up. Yeah. And then they aired it nationally and stuff. And then that was like the big, that was the, I had a few other ones that, that had, before that I did have one that had 600 shares, which is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but this one went to like over 2,000 yeah, in like, like, like me, Meanwhile, hours, you, you were know, enjoying like, that CDV, like clicks that you were yeah. getting. I, I was like low, thinking about, maybe I should go back to Iran. Like, you know, we, we, we came here, we saw Canada. If this is Canada, I'm yeah. out. Like, I'm yeah. not going to stay. Like, yeah, that was nuts, dude. That, but then, that, that's yeah. your first impression. <laughs> that was like that's a hilarious. seven, it was, uh, the city was off, uh, Mon was off for seven, a week or something. Then I, then I got a cab about this. The first time I went, I went to, to university, I got a cab because yeah. I had no idea where I am, what's going on here. Like, I don't want to go walk there and then die in the first day, like, coming to university. So I got a cab, and then the cab driver said, you know what? We didn't have this thing for 25 years. I said, okay, so that's just, a, like, you know, that's just my life. <laughs> I just come here, and this is what's happening, right? It was the first one was, um, was uh, the temperature shock. And then uh, the, second, the second shock was uh, the language shock, right? Because, uh, like, you, you start... <laughs> Cause like our my our books in, in in university even back home were English. I knew English. I knew I knew English, right? <laughs> Till I come to Newfoundland. <laughs> Then like people started talking. I was trying to comprehend the first sentence the guy was saying. That like, he that guy was already in the fifth sentence, right? You know, it's just like it was so hard for me to to because you got the new fees. They're like you know top of the chart. And they should I like if there's some like you know. The mumble rap com- competition, whatever you guys are like, uh, you can like gotta get dominated. You talk, and now I am like that. You can say I am. I talk fast like that too. Yeah. Like I couldn't even comprehend the sentence. Like you know, it took me a while to catch on to that man. Like you know, I remember the first time I realized like somebody's talking fast and I can understand it was a time that I was drunk like them too. I said okay, so that's <laughs> so that so that so that, that's that's how that's how it works. Like you know, you gotta you can like <laughs> be there with a sober mind and like understand these people. <laughs> Like, um, I had a job actually at the hotel, like uh, that they put me for a night at it, and I was like answering calls and people from different places like calling, and then with different accents, and I was trying to understand. Like somebody was calling from like I'm from Hollywood, and I'm like I'm trying to search for the Hollywood. Is. <laughs> I didn't know it starts with an H or something, right? <laughs> Man, like I always wonder too, like. I'm always fascinated too. Like I, I just, I just love hearing these stories because, like, because I know, like, because <laughs> I just think of it, like, like I'm going 
like anytime I go to a country, mm. in my head I'm going to that country, mm. and I kind of have it in my head how that country is, and you, there's a every country has a reputation. So yeah. you, and, and you know, so you're kind of and you talk to other people who went to that country, mm. and they tell you this country is like this, and expect this and expect that. Yeah. So I always think about immigrants when they're coming to Newfoundland, and they tell people, "Yeah, I'm going to Canada." Mm. And they go, have you been to Canada? Yeah, I've been to Canada. Yeah, we don't and know. they say, Canada's like this, Canada's like that. And you go, oh, okay. Yeah. So you kind of, and then you're draw, and then you land here, mm. and it's like, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> what what's going what on? What is going Where on? Am I? <laughs> yeah. What is this? <laughs> just... Who is this? Where am I? Is yeah. this a fucking joke? Like, yeah, what it, is, it is. Because, it is. Because it's this, a big shock. I, I, it gotta I, I, be a it big is, fucking it shock. It is a big man. shock, yeah. You know, like. But the thing is, like, the thing, the, uh, there's an, another thing, too. Like, when you stay for for a Newfoundland as long as I stayed for like seven years or something, then you catch up that accent, that catch up that talk, that talking and stuff. Then you go to the mainland, as yeah, you call it, the right? mainland, yeah. And then they say, "What, what are you say? What are you saying? Like you're out the house? Like you're not out the house? You're out the house? Like, you, say, <laughs> you, you catch up these like accents? Like you know, it just like comes with you, like you know." But like not and stop talking. That that ima- so that was my first like what is it called? Uh, yeah, in Iran we knew English, but we were not talking English with each other. Right? So that was my first like me getting to talk. So you right? you grew up in Iran and mm-hmm. you got a scholarship, a scholarship from Mon from yeah for a PhD in engineering for mechanical, PhD in yeah. engineering. What what type of engineering? Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. Yeah. Well, was it you said to me you're in, you're engineer in electric dodge the electric yeah dodge like trucks? because uh, because my pro- my project that I did at Mon was related to vehicle dynamics. So now I'm working in the vehicle industry, working for Chrysler, yeah. Yeah, and reworking the designing their new electric vehicle uh, yeah. Dodge Ram that will come in in the uh, 2025 or end of 24. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so so you did that. So you got a job with that in Toronto now. I'm in Windsor, Ontario. You're now. in Windsor, Ontario. Yeah, gotcha. down there by the destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you? So you moved here in 2014. Correct. Got your degree. Mm. How many years in university? Five, six. I I, t- I took like normally like you should finish the PhD in four years, but I was having too much fun, so I finished it. To seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I I I feel the limit. The limit is like seven. You can go. You yeah. can't go above seven. Yeah. So I finished it. At yeah. Seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when did you leave here? 2021. Uh, yeah, two years ago. Like two I years ago. Good, yeah. So you moved to Ontario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember when I was just talking to you on Instagram, you're like, "Yeah, man, I'm in Ontario. I've been there a couple of years." I was like, "Wait, what?" I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like "Oh man, like where the where does the time go?" And uh, I, I tell you where it went, it went, it went drinking. Like <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, like you know, in in Iran, uh, let me tell you like, a little bit about Iran because uh, so in Iran we don't have a bar, like right. or, or a pub, like you can go. So drink. there's no no bars. Yeah, there's no liquor store. You like you know, you gotta call your dealer like hey man I'm having a birthday party really? like give me like two bottles of like absolute vodka or something like that like you know and drink privately in your house yeah and then like or or you can like you know uh, uh, make your own wine I used to make my own wine for example or you like brew your own beer or something like that but it is illegal if they if they get you like you know uh, you're gonna they're gonna whip you seventy times or something like we know we don't want to get to the details of it. So, like, so but like that's how that's how we party in Iran and then. And I, to be honest with you, I wasn't like drinking that. I was not that much a drinker or something in a sense in Rome. We were like five times per year. Like there was a wedding, there was a like birthday party. No, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Then, then I then I came here. The, so I is I came in the capital of like <laughs> drinking. I guess in the Canada or something. It should be something like that. And then. Uh, there was like there was so much so much to catch up, right? <laughs> so much partying and having fun to catch up, and I and I did enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying that oh I should have not done that, whatever. I did enjoy it, so that's why that's why I elongated my <laughs> like PhD. Yeah, man. And that's how it go. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> it's um. It must have been huge, though, man. To go from there, there's no bars. It's no like bar, yeah, it's bar. like hookah, so, hookah bars. You so just go, so uh, yeah, so but so but like okay, you're saying like your dealer. So if you if you're at a bar, mm. I mean if you're at your house, like if for whatever reason the authorities came to your house and they seen mm. bottles of liquor and bottles of wine in yeah. your house, like you get in trouble. Yeah, you get in trouble. So just like, like if you had drugs in your house. Yeah, it, it exactly. That's equivalent of that. Wow. So that's like you know, but you can like you know, you they probably some fine and like stuff like that. You have to pay for it. But uh, but that is how it is. It's like Islamic country. Like it's a very restricted. You can't. You're not allowed. Alcohol is uh, what is it called? Haram or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like Iran fascinates me because like mm. every time I meet anybody from Iran, like yourself, yeah, super great people. Mm. Like 
best con, and I hear like a lot of bit a lot of progressive stuff yeah, from yeah. Iran. Like I've heard uh, like the amount of women from Iran to go to university. Yeah, it's like it's either it's it's like more. They have more women in Iran go to university than almost any other country, or they, or like, do they have more women than men go to university, or something no, like no, that? No, it wasn't. Uh, I think, I think, uh, well, like actually, uh, like a year ago, two years ago, where women were like on the streets and like you know, there was some sort of like a women revolution that they were like, uh, they said that we 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 tired of this wearing hijab and stuff. They were like going completely against it. Right. But the, the thing about Iran is like before the revolution, Iran was like uh, was like here, like uh, like kind of like when the. When Shah of Iran was in power, whatever, everything was free, like you know, no hijab and everything. But uh, so imagine like a, a nation like brought into and lived into that type of freedom, and then you come uh, like you know, and then the revolution happened, then the Islamic regime took over, and then everything got bad. So in in a sense, in a sense, when you see an Iranian like we we are those people still, right? So we like to party, we like you know those type of things. But like, just because we restricted there, didn't come here. We're still good people. Like, right? Like, yeah, no, no, that's like, what I'm saying. So yeah. yeah, that's the interesting thing, right? Because the the news, whether it's right or wrong or or whatnot, like the the media here, as I'm mm. sure you've seen, like really demonizes Iran. Like, yeah. it really makes you like scared of Iran. Like, yeah. they got nukes and they're gonna. They should this be. And that, and you should distinguish. I think the the the, the account of this the account of Iranian regime and the account of Iranian people. These two are different accounts. Two different things, man. Two and you, but you know what I'm learning, man, as I as I as I do this and as I travel, because I mean mm. I grew up in Buren Bay, Newfoundland, like like I'm I am like it's like such such a sheltered newfie, like my upbringing, such a sheltered like I, the first time I was ever on a plane, I was 21 years old. I didn't leave yeah. the island until I was 21. And 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 that was to go to an oil rig. To go for work in Alberta. <laughs> yeah, that's so normally I didn't even land in Fort McMurray. I landed on an airstrip at CNRL. Mm. And then I worked in I worked in the oil rig. There and then we get a plane at that and drive and fly back home. We would stop into uh, the airport, some some small airport because we we're doing chartered flights, and would stop into Winnipeg. Not and wouldn't get off the plane. No, <laughs> it would just be to fuel up, and then went up and then bam back down to St. John's. You- so so and I did that for about a year, right? And that was that was my first go at it. Uh, so like my first time ever actually on a plane and or, or outside of Newfoundland and into another city was Toronto. I'm still in Canada and stuff. Like, yeah. I, so, but like most of my most of my traveling in my life has been throughout this country of Canada. Now I've been I've been to New York, I've been to Phoenix, I've been to Florida, and I've been to St. Lucia and I've been to Mexico. But even like St. Lucia and Mexico, like you're mostly on a resort. Yeah, Florida. I was there for a wedding. I was there with all my friends and stuff like this and that. Mm. Toronto, New York is probably where I've experienced the most culture, but now like in, in regards to big cities, but I've been traveling across Canada and I'm doing it every year. And when our shows are getting bigger, we're going to more towns and you're out and about more and mm. you're getting more comfortable to go more places and try more food and, yeah. and try different cultures of food. Now and, you're and more expanding whatever. now. Yeah. yeah. And I'm meeting more and more people from more and more countries mm. all the time. And what I keep finding is that Everyone uh, from almost every country is nothing like their regime. No, it's, it's yeah, not, exactly. It, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, and then you realize, oh, it's just like, you just like, no matter what country it is, mm. it's like, it's almost like you get two different societies of people, it, right? Exactly. It is. Exactly. It's like you got like, and every country has like a hierarchy mm. and that they're just this, this pile of, of cunts. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and then some people right? are there tolerating it, and then some people say, "Oh, if you're not going to tolerate it, we're going to come to the some more free country like and, here." Yeah. yeah. And then you come yeah. down lower, mm. and just, just like everyone else. And then it's like the people, mm. and it's like the people of the countries, mm. they get along just yeah. fine. Like it's crazy. Like it's it's crazy. Like like I I I got back playing basketball. I used to play basketball with Chinese people all the time mm. at the field house. And we laugh, carry on, and joke this and and like, but like Canada and China are at each, you know, all the time. Canada and India are at each other now. I I got Indians that Indian friends <laughs> yep. that like I talk to and laugh and joke with, and it's just like, but what a pile of nonsense! That, yeah, like 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 if only if only if only well, the, the top could be represent the. The country itself, like uh, there's other things into it too. Like Canada is, uh, yeah, obviously super multicultural country. But uh, we were the, we were doing uh, some study at the Mon. So it turns out that uh, as much as like American uh, students, they want to go study abroad to other countries to study. Canadians don't want to leave Canada. 
Like mm. they are multicultural, but like how come like you can be, for example, you say Canadians say that yeah, I know Chinese because I got Chinese friends or whatever. But have you ever been in China? No, no. So Canadians are not. They, there's so much like comfort here, <laughs> comfortable here. Yeah, they, they don't want to explore. Like you, even Europeans, you see um, Europeans, they go in the during their bachelor study, they go like different universities, different countries, or like you know, or even they come here and then come back. But uh, this is the things actually the government in Canada wanted to help them out, and then they got uh, some pro provide some funds. They said, hey, we give you guys funds, go please the study abroad. And because because uh, in a sense, like imagine uh, an American student who's been abroad, like been to China, different countries. That person is gonna graduate and start a company, and then like then I'm gonna make international deals. Like he knows he knows because he's been to those countries. He can he can communicate better, right? But mm. Canadians are not like just because they they, they haven't explored. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, all they know is Canadian Chinese whatever. Like this is like different. You can't you can't understand the, you can understand the culture from their food or something, but you gotta be there to, yeah. to, to get a good grip of what's yes. going on, like For what all, they come from, right? Yes, and and a hundred percent. And I, I I totally agree with that. Mm. I, I'm just saying in my interactions with meeting immigrants. Yeah, it's never what I think. It's 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 never how the yeah. media portrays it. No, no, it's not. It's, it's, not. it's hardly ever. <laughs> yeah, it's hardly ever. It's yeah. it's you know the stere now stereotypes mm. definitely exist for a reason. Yes, you know, like for sure, like whether it's like you know the, the Chinese being uh, being cheap with their money mm. or something like that. Like that doesn't fall from the sky. There's a reason that exists. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or or you know like Irish people like to drink or whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it didn't fall from the sky. It's, it exists. There's a lot of like Newfoundlanders, like oh they they like to yeah. drink and and curse and swear. That well, like to have a time. The like, <laughs> yeah, like that's that's a, that's that's the thing. Like you know what I mean. Like it's it is what it is. But like so yeah, like you see those things. It's like oh, okay, yeah, it's as the stereotype is. In, in a but sense, but like, but there's not. But that's just a characteristic. It's not really like a thing, and it's just like there's no there's no tension. There's no beef, and you always feel like we're all more alike than we are different. But I, uh, but I, and 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 it's great. But I'm always fascinated, like how the fuck, what their thoughts are on Newfoundland and Newfoundlanders, because like because <laughs> Iran is a big country that's in the news, and yeah. I hear about it. Mm. Right? And China and Russia and everything else. Mm. Right? But there's no one over in Iran, over in China, over in Russia, wherever. No, yeah, India. Yeah, you're right about that. Watching it. NTV News. No. Right? And like, and has a, and has, they, they, they meet Newfoundlanders and it gotta be, they gotta have their, and come to Newfoundland, they gotta have their mind fucking blown. They don't know. No. I get it all the time. I'll put videos up online and people will see me mm. that, and it could be from wherever in the world and they don't know what part of the planet I'm from. They're mm. like, he sounds Irish, he sounds Canadian, he sounds Scottish, he <laughs> yeah. sounds English. Is this he guy, like, like, is this guy a fucking alien like what part of the fucking world yeah, is like, this guy from and it's like I'm from Canada it, but it, I'm it not is, it, it <laughs> is like, I, I think <laughs> Newfoundland was a like, very specific unique case like yeah, I, yeah, I agree man. with that We're super like, I, I can't speak on, on behalf of uh, all the immigrants but like at least from my point of view like I can give you that reflection that the uh, I, I found like now that I'm like you know I tell you uh, never like play, uh, I went to Montreal or, like you know I've seen other I've, I found um, the new fee people are incredibly friend friendly and they right. they're very welcoming they all they, they they might not even know you and then like to come have a conversation with you they they like very right uh, like this is, they, yeah that, that's, <laughs> that's how it is like you yeah. know we might not even see each other like you know after two years like hey man let's do a podcast yeah, like, yeah. We, we are we are and this is this is uh, I think the, one of the the big things in, in Newfoundland got that people are very down to earth. Yeah, like, they're not like very stuck up into that. Like they're not very serious. Like this, this is a good thing about it. Like you know, that yeah. makes it like you know that I and this is the most important thing that I love about it. That's why I, even for holidays I was like thinking everybody wants to go they see their family and stuff. And then this is my family. My family I built this during these seven years. I built the friendships that I built in Newfoundland. That is my family. And now for Christmas I want to come to see my family. Right? Yeah, and my friends. Like that is yeah. That is the take from uh, Newfoundland. Yeah. So for anyone that, that missed uh, that, what he just said was <laughs> like. He's from Iran. He's been living in Toronto the last two years. It's Christmas time. He does. Uh, I, say, I keep saying mm. Toronto, Windsor. Yeah, it's Iran. He's in Ontario. He didn't want to stay in Ontario for the holidays, but he didn't want to fly to Iran. Yeah, <laughs> for the holidays so far. Yeah, obviously, and you're not yeah. Christian. No, so yeah, you don't even really celebrate it. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like <laughs> I'm going back to Newfoundland, like yeah, the place I'm going to have a time here. Yeah, and just have a time here. Yeah, around That's the people, so cool, the people man. that all of my close friends for seven years, and like you know, we built good relationships and stuff. And then so I'm, I, I, I was 100 percent sure 
Anywhere in Canada I go, like in Newf- 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 Newfoundland, I'm going to have a, a lot great time, better time with my best friends. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I ask, I ask a question too, like your friends here, mm. like what's the ratio? How many of your friends here are white Newfies and how many of your friends here are other immigrants that you met through university? I mean, maybe well, from the immigrant friends, I got like one and two left. All of my friends are white Newfies. Oh, is that right? Yeah, because I was, I was like, well, like I, I was very active in the poker community here. Mm. And then through that, like, you know, uh, I, all of my, a lot of uh, places that I moved here, my roommates were Canadian. So, but, but like that, uh, when I, when I came, you know, when a lot of like uh, immigrants come, they, they stay, stay in their, their whole, in their own tribe. Yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't walk out. They don't want to like, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, so, and then I noticed that they speak. They don't think, but the, like I'm like I noticed that yeah. they talk to the Chinese. The Chinese yeah, really wanna... stick together. Stick, yeah. like, when, <laughs> like, like when, like I say, I used to play basketball with them all the time at the field house, mm. and they would just like they'd always like come together, leave together, and they would always speak their own language to each other. No, and yeah. then, and they'd be like, "What are you saying?" And then one would turn and look at me and speak perfect English to me, and <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, "And I'd be like, you bastard! You know how fucking rude that is, man! Like when you're talking to your buddy in Chinese, like you know I can't understand that. And you say something to him in Chinese, and you laugh, right? Nothing can happen to me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like what French people do to your man. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, yeah, but like uh, it. It's like I, I wasn't like that. I was like completely opposite. Yeah. I would like I would like I probably like spend more time. Like I probably missed my events, like Iranian events. But like I was coming to new events. Like, uh, and uh, and the thing is, like you know, in a sense for me, what I did is make sense because I just moved to this country. Yeah. Now I am part of this this like you know this nation or cu- culture and everything. So might as well like start learning what's going on. How how people like what are, the, what, are the, what are the common things to do? What's the yeah, culture man. about? What are like you know, uh, and. Uh, and uh, it, it it took years, but like you know now like now I'm 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 kind of like feeling myself I'm more like him like like here here like you know sometimes even like I remember I talk it's been a couple of years that I haven't been in Iran sometimes I'm talking to my families and in between like you know in my language I'm, I'm, I miss some words and I'm putting like English words in something yeah. that is I, that is become my my town yeah. yeah so when you tell are both your parents still alive yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so and you have any siblings I do have one brother he's one brother like, yeah he's in France yeah and he's in France yeah, yeah. he's ever been to Canada. No, he has not been in Canada. Never been to Canada. No, so not. when you tell your parents and your brother mm. about Newfoundland, yeah, like, like, w- like, what do you say and what do they think about it? I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like, from like the experiences that I've been sharing with him, they, they, they associate with Newfoundland with, with like, I don't know, some sort of like incredibly cold place, like filled with the snow and stuff. Because like they, they see well, the yeah, pictures I mean, of the snow, yeah. they see me. Like I was at the beginning, I was like every day I was wake, waking up. I said, Dad, every day I'm waking up, I'm shoveling. Like what's right. going on? So you, you got to understand something yeah. too, cause just to put this in your head. I'm sure you already yeah. know this, but the, that rolling blackout thing that happened, mm. that never happened before or no. after that. No, no. That, that was it crazy for us, didn't. right? Yeah. And then the snowmageddon, yeah. that never happened before or since then. No, that was crazy happen. for us <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah. So like, the thing, oh, that's why yeah. Newfoundland is, you experienced the two of those things. Extremes. In, 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 the, in, the seven, in the little seven-year window you were here, yeah. you, <laughs> there's people in this island who are like in their 70s and 80s yeah. that... They, They've never seen that before. Th- yeah, right. And it took them seventy or eighty <laughs> years to experience the two of them in their lifetime. Yeah, put, and you got and you got the two of them in a seven-year window. I picked the like, goodest slice of a decade. Like, you picked the real <laughs> weird time. Yeah, to yeah. Come. yeah. So like, yeah, like it's 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 not a fair representation, but at the same time, I guess it is in some mm. sorts. But yeah, so like, yeah, they 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 so they think so they think of it as a very cold. Yeah, yeah, but like this this in the fun side that I had here too because I, I I love uh, fishing and hunting a lot. Yeah, and my my friends took me to small games. We did ice fishing here, like you know. It just, mm. it just like uh, uh, to salmon fishing. So, so, the, the, so the, the, it's it's in general like the, it's a really fun fun place to have. It, Newfoundland, Newfoundland is like if you're like one as, as a guy who's chill and just want to settle down, have be be cabin, you enjoy hunting, like fishing. It's, this is like a perfect place for, for the world for that. Like, yeah. like don't because don't, I'm like in Windsor now. I'm bored now. I can't even go for hikes. Like no. nothing's going. I can only walk by the river and come back and down. Mm-hmm. Like that's it. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, it's not a lot to do. Like you know, when it goes to cities, big cities. Like um, and I'm guy. And I'm guy even from my hometown. We were just buying the nature. We were by the beach, woods and stuff like that. So. In a sense, like I, I, I always talk about even to my parents as Newfoundland is like it's kind of like my, our hometown, but it's just cold. cold. <laughs> like, right. It's just like you know, with too much of snow. Yeah, right. Like what that. part of Iran are you from? I'm What's from uh, north of Iran, so it's north? below uh, north, north. North. So yeah. it's like below the Caspian Sea, and then um, the way that it looks like uh, it's a sea, and there's like a little bit of strip of land, like you know, which is uh, completely green, and then mountains. So 
the water from sea just evaporates, goes up, and like it keeps raining. So my, I'm from Rash. This, the, it's called City of Rain. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it rains like every day, mm. kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what's the population? Population of Rash is now. I think. I think uh, now it's got to be uh, plus two million, something like that. So two it, million. Yeah, it, it is packing up pretty quick. Wow. Yeah. What, so yeah. So yeah. like, uh, like I'm just trying to think of our cities in Canada, like. I think Toronto is the only city we had that's over yeah, 2 million, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. I think everything is under 2. Vancouver, I'm not sure where Vancouver, Montreal is at, but my gut mm. tells me they are also they, under they're 2. They're probably plus, plus, yeah. So, plus like, <clears throat> so, okay, so 2 million in Rash. Is 2 million, yeah. R- R-A-S-H? Yeah. That's the name of the, the yeah. city, North, in Northern Ireland. And Ar- I've been living in Capital Tehran for a while because I was in, in, a, in a school. So, yeah. so how how big is Rash? How big? Okay, Iran, what's the population in Iran? Iran is ninety million now. Ninety million. Yeah. So, like, is there how many how many cities in Iran are bigger than Rash? Oh, a lot. Like, it's a it's a, Iran is like it's a population density thing. Imagine like Canada it, in terms of area is nine times bigger than Iran. Yes, but Canada population is about thirty five million or something. Like, yeah. You know, so, like, and then these two countries, their GDP are the same too. But the GDP per capita, then when they split the money, <laughs> you know, then it's not that that much. Right. Yeah. It's a very um, it's a very populated, dense area. Right. So, like, it's it, like you see here, like you got you got houses like house by house and stuff. Yeah, you're really rich if you have a house in Iran because everything is apartment. <laughs> you right. Gotta, gotta everything's apartments and yeah, condos. Yeah, yeah, it is. In high rise right. yeah. buildings. So. Yeah. Like, they get winter in Iran, right? No? Yeah, we don't, we don't get winter. Bit, bit it's, a winter? Four, it's kind of like a four-season country. So we have the it's desert. A, what's that, sorry? Four-season country. Four-season country, yeah. So, so basically, there's a time in the year that you can, like, fly for a half-hour flight. Then you can land in the desert, which is, like, mon- like plus four years. Like, yeah. nothing lives there. Yeah. And then you can go to mountains, and you can come to my hometown. I've been enjoying the beach. <laughs> yeah. And then the rain. And then you can go south, so the same thing. So it, it, we have, like, you know, a little bit of... Uh, Everything. Mm. In, in terms of nature, it's beautiful. Like you know, I've never seen a video. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It was on social media a while back, a few years ago. But uh, I feel like I'm almost positive it was Iran. Mm. And it was like showing all these cars and buses mm. sliding down the hill because yeah. they got freezing rain. Oh, yeah. And nobody was... That's not, like, that's not used to... Yeah. They weren't like... I guess it was a part of Iran that doesn't get we that. Do, we do have... We do have uh, I think on the northwest... It's kind of like you know it can get cold. There's like a bunch of cities uh, that it can get it can get cold like like here cold. Yeah. But otherwise, if you want to experience like here, you gotta go top of the mountains. Like it's like it's not like in the what is it called the rural area. Yeah. When you so you said Iran was a country a lot like Canada, like a like a free liberated country. Was was yeah. so then and then the revolution the, the, happened. The, yeah. the Muslim government yeah. took it took over. over. Yeah. When was that? That was like 40 years ago, 40, 40? 45 years, before I was born, yeah. Yeah, back, so what, back in the late 70s, early 80s, something, something like that? Something like that, yeah, like, that was, a, that was a, when, I think that was my dad time, my, it was my dad time that it happened, yeah. Right. And then, uh, and then like, t- then thought. things, like, you know, uh, during the course of years, the things just, like, you know, went down and down, like, you know, in terms of economy, in terms of, like, human rights and stuff like that, like, freedoms, uh, I mean, like, the the youth in Iran, like right now, are having a great time. Like they still enjoy the the thing, but they what, don't. It's the, not the, what, you the youth. Yeah, like I mean, but it, they, you can't go in outside in the in the people's true face and like do the whatever you you want. You know what I'm saying? It's not that that, like the beach, like they still the for example the schools are the ma- uh, the male and female schools separate, the the beach and uh, separate is, uh, all of that things details like kind of right yeah. Interesting, man. Mm. So, it's such, it's so, and then, right. So that's I, I keep asking about it because I'm, I'm really trying to to figure un- out understand too, yeah. like your shock <laughs> yeah. of coming from there, yeah, to coming to here, mm. right, where we don't even really have beaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, well, you got we got the middle of the Gulf yeah. beaches. We can do yeah. polar bit, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. And it's like, but like you got uh, you're talking about too, like um, no no bars, no pubs, but there's like hookah lounges are like. Popular. Hukula, yeah. So Hukula, you're saying so too that is a big, big thing there because that's the only thing. It's like, it's like a coffee shops. Look, you like you, you need like you need some place to hang out with people. Like you know, I don't know, take your girlfriend to or something. Like right. you know, it's, that's that's how like people basically hang out there. Mm-hmm. But like the, uh, besides that, like there would be like house parties and stuff. Like you know, it won't be like you know, not not a club or something, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, and you're saying like uh, so tea is really big over there because of the hookahs. Yeah, because, because <laughs> when you, when you, they serve you tea you, with the hookah. When you smoke, your pressure might drop a little bit. Then you yeah. want to like yeah. you know, mix it yeah. up. Here it's it. cigarettes and tea, and over there it's hookah yeah, and tea. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, thank God I'm off both of them. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think your parents or your brother would ever come here? Um, yeah, I, I do. I do want. I talked about it. Like uh, I do wanted to bring them uh, here. That uh, and uh, and right right now the thing is, uh, my brother started like studying in France, so we kind of like want. If we go, we're gonna want to meet up somewhere in the between, like kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that is within my plan. I yeah, they still, they still haven't visited the. the oh the, man, because I I was like thinking of. Like if they come here, they might they, that might be the same shock for them too. That they're like you know in the 60s, 70s. Like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Tough yeah. for them to tough for them to adapt to it, right? Yeah. yeah. So your parents would have been alive, obviously. Oh, I'm assuming during mm -hmm. uh, when Iran was the way it was before. Mm. So like, have they ever have they ever talked about how much like they missed those times or like? I mean. I mean, yeah, or like, like, or like if any army to move out and try to move to another country that is like that or anything like you it, know, it is in a sense, in a sense, like you know, they, they're like they're like pretty, pretty settled there, there, like because they already like enjoyed their life in a sense that they wanted to do. They were they were more worried about like the kids, like you know, trying to have a good future and like be in the right place. Right. Yeah, but but they, they do they do they do miss that like you know they, they, must, they, man. they, they do they, it's like it's like because the pressure it comes higher and higher and and uh, I mean. I mean, in in a sense, like I do want to, and for my best case scenario, would be like you know, when I get settled here, I'm gonna come bring, bring gradually bring them here, and then like you know, that would be the story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I guess it's tough too. Like, mm. like if you could get good work here, would you move back here to work, or would you rather be up in Ontario or elsewhere, or like do you want to travel around? Like, like, uh, like at? right now, I'm working remote, but uh, but I need to be close to Detroit because eventually they might need me for the tests uh, mm. to go to the Michigan. But uh, no, man, I'm not really like you know. I'm not from the uh, the guy that I want to like you know stay somewhere. Like I do want to like explore. Go yeah, around, like, yeah, uh, of course, man. If yeah. you got, if you got the ability to do that, why not? Yeah, like and I and I, I, I don't be like if something happens that I can come back to your fan and there's a job. Like why not? Like you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean like. I'm I'm already enjoying this being here. Yeah, <laughs> man. Like, you know, this is the, <laughs> yeah, and then and then the, but Mitch, I think most likely the why the, I might be more inclined to go towards Montreal and uh, Toronto would be because of my art. Right. Because like uh, it's in terms of art market, that's if you like a painter or something uh, or Van Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, those are the hops. Right. So, so there's like lots of galleries, uh, commercial galleries, like you know, lots of art fairs, and then if you if you have as a painter, you want to like you know go through that path. That's that's where you want to like you know land and and be uh, right. Uh, so I've seen some of your artwork on Instagram and it's awesome, man. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. When, when did you start painting and why? Well, uh, I started when I was a kid. Uh, even like uh, you, you know, I had a pen pencil. Like you know, my dad was like they were setting this, the the some dinner table and I was like drawing. Like you know what's going on. So I my dad sent me to some classes. I learned a little bit. Uh, I had I think uh, oil in oil painting. I had my first group exhibition at the age of 14, 16. I just loved it. That was my that was my passion, right? And then but you know you know when you you in Middle East uh, your parents is like, gonna be are you gonna become a doctor or are you gonna be an engineer? Like mm. because that's that's <laughs> a, that's a mindset. That's gonna what what's they they want that's gonna what that's what gonna bring money. So the being an artist was never an option. But uh, right. when I moved here, uh, I was just, I was just uh, as my hobby, I was just doing my paintings and stuff. Then my friends came and like, hey, can you do me a painting like that? Like, I, I, I'm going to pay you money and stuff like that. Then, then I, it, it, it became, the hobby will turn into something that I, okay, I, I, not also I'm making money. I'm, I'm, I'm like, it, I, now maybe there is a chance that I can expand this thing into something serious. Right. So maybe like I can finally turn my passion uh, that okay, I, I my my parents wanted me to become engineer. I gave them, them that. Like they got that they made their uh, whatever dream wish achieved. <laughs> like now it's time about me. Like what I want mm. to do. So that that's how like I moved uh, uh, towards it. And uh, and the reason most uh, re I I had never I had never like you know commercial thing or uh, financial get, uh, uh, goal with it. Uh, it was when I'm painting. It just gives me. Uh, when I like go behind the canvas and I mix paints and stuff, I'm I'm just like f uh, free from the touts of the world. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I'm not thinking best, about man. anything. I just yeah. I'm just in the zone doing that. And I you might find me like you know painting ten hours. I'm not even tired. This is the only thing in the world like I can come I can still work in my company like design electric vehicles whatever. I enjoy that too. There's no doubt about it. But I but I, I might get tired. This is the only thing that doesn't consume me energy but also gives me energy. So right? you like to make you like to try to at some point transition to make to make that a big part of your living 
exactly yeah. exactly so in, yeah. so in a sense i want i want to gradually grow in the market like uh, i'm planning a solo exhibition uh, the, that will coming next year so i want to get into get into uh, the market uh, move from the emerging artists to become established artists and then and then uh, Eventually, maybe by the time, like you know, by the time like I retire in engineering, for example, maybe I don't know, thirty years, something from now, then I, I, I am like good enough, well known, and I'm already get that, that part of my art business to the sense that I can continue. Then I can be that old guy, like like I've been like painting, yeah, like still making man. money. Oh, <laughs> like, that's so, beautiful, man. Yeah, that, that yeah. is that is, uh, that is uh, my uh, my goal. Like, but the thing is, from the beginning, I knew this is what I want. Right. Like I don't know what what, what about you? What was so the time I, that you said so, that? So when you say the beginning, like when, what do you mean the beginning? What's the beginning for you? Like how old were you? And you're, you're like, like oh. ten years old or something. Yeah, that, that, that is what I what I'd like to do. All right. So for me, it was like I always knew from a young age that like I enjoyed mm. in the entertainment side of life. Mm. <clears throat> when I was in grade six, I got into a. I guess when it really hit me was when I was in grade six, I got into a talent show. Mm. Me and my buddy Sean Collins, and we reenacted. Uh, <clears throat> have you? I'm, I'm, just, I'm asking. You might or might not have. Have you heard of Buddy Watson's name or the other fellers? Uh, uh, in your comedy tour? Or? No, no, no. So there's a the most famous comedy uh, troupe ever come out of Newfoundland. Sean, and Sean uh, Majan and no, no, no. no. That, no. So there's Sean Majan and Mark Critch and, yeah, and Rick Mercer, yeah. Kathy Jones, Mary Walsh. They're, they're, mm. they're all they're all legends in their own right, and they they, mm. they all came up to like. Um, like a bunch of them came up through Kako and then yeah. 20, and then like they they were all into twenty two minutes and stuff. They all went like, but that's all that's all like mainstream network stuff, right? Yeah. But then Buddy Watts' name and the other fellas are almost like they're they're way they're the they're, local they're, legends kind <clears throat> of thing. Yeah, kind of right. And mm. but 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 they're in some ways they're bigger than than those people because uh. like it depends on how you look at it. But like they they they're pure independent. Mm. Like they they started and they just throw in they used to have CDs for sale in the Irvin gas stations and then they oh, got okay. it, right so that, that's what you grew up basically with and they got yeah and they got them for sale in the uh, you know in like Fred's Records I believe Walmart like they like they're very established and they're professional and but like they're they're hilarious men mm. they're they're I like, should listen to them like <laughs> Kevin Blackmore. Kevin mm. Blackmore is in the running for the funniest comedian to ever come out of Newfoundland and Newfoundland is known for just. Full of funny people. Full of class, and he yeah. might be the funniest. Like he's phenomenal, this guy. So, like on a, I first heard Buddy Wass's name and the other fellers. Like Kevin Blackmore is pr- like was my very first uh ma- in- inspiration. And mm. like he has such a massive impact on my life that he has no idea. Mm. Like the whole troop. Cause like when I first heard Diami, I was like, What am I listening to? It's that's the name of the sketch. It's called Diami. Okay. And it's about a Yamaha snowmobile that he puts a Corvette engine into <laughs> yeah. and tapes his finger on the throttle with electric tape and just <laughs> fucking goes out through the woods, right? <laughs> and, it's, and it's this That's whole... That's a new and, Yeah, and it's this whole silly story, and it's absolutely hilarious. Yeah. And when I heard that, I don't know if it's my addictive personality or if mm. I just got some sort of disorder, but, like, whenever I get into something, like, I get super... I can't stop listening to it or I can't stop watching yeah. it. Like, I memorized... No, just, like I listen to it like I can't tell you how many times a day, like dozens of times a day. We, we just I, listen to it. Keep I would like, have, yeah, I would have <laughs> it on for hours. Yeah, and and I memorized it word for word in no time because I mm. listened to it so much. And I went up in grade six and I reenacted it. So uh, I, 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 and so the, the the sketch is playing over the the gymnasium speakers and I'm lip syncing it. The words, oh, okay. but it's so it's a mix of like stand up, so natural then, right? So yeah. it's a mix of stand up and sketch, okay. all in all in one. The, the the way he does it, right? And um, so I'm doing it like that. Like I got the skid, I got the, the seats there for the skidoo. I got the book bag there. It's the big rock that they eventually crash into, and all this you other got, stuff. You got the right? whole set plan. Like, like I got the yeah. props played out, right? And I'm being Kevin Blackmore, and like I'm looking at a gymnasium, <laughs> several hundred people in the gym, and I'm and I'm talking, and my my mouth is mat syncing up perfect. So that I, was your first time. I know that... all the words that are coming, right? And I the gym is absolutely roaring, <laughs> dying laughing, right? And then and I was like, oh my god! And the next day, I got called to the gym, the, the principal's office, and and and, and our gy- principal teacher was a um, big, big intimidating. He was in the he was in the Olympics. He, re- he represented Canada in the Olympics for powerlifting, and oh, so he's a huge guy. And he won a medal. Yeah. Like he's 
yeah, like he's like Arnold Schwarzenegger to us, <laughs> like this guy, right? And he's our principal. We're grade six or 11 years old, you know, we're terrified of him. And he comes in and like, oh my God, like terrified to go to his office. You're terrified. And he's there, big, big man. And he was like McBain from The Simpsons, like when McBain laughs. Yeah. Like it was just like, it, it's silly. He's going he like took this. His, yeah, he's like this, right? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, that yesterday was hilarious. He goes, can you do an encore today? And mm. We want to invite the, the, the school next door to come over to see it again. And I did it again, and like, and, and it killed again, right? And that's when I was like, "Oh, like, oh, yeah. like I, I, I got I, this one, yeah, like, like, oh, I'm, like, I'm good at this. This is me. This yeah, is me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and that I, was a eureka moment. Yeah, like, and it, yeah, and it really, I was like, and I was like, man, but how would you ever? And then when I got into high school, I got into theater arts, and and yeah, I just did that for the free English credits, really more than anything, and it was fun and whatever. Mm. Like, I didn't, I didn't really like like dr- drama acting, but I liked comedic acting. Comedic right? act, so you kind yeah. of like performance, like not just like the doing doing one liners or like doing the story the storytelling. But what, what what is your main 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 like? So right now, like so my comedy right mm. now, my stand up is a lot of storytelling. A storytelling, a lot of yeah. it. Not all, not all of it. Like two years ago, I did um, I did a whole set. My whole set was on COVID, mm. right? So that would that that whole set was pure social commentary. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's like so, and then I do so. It's I do I mix it up. Mm. If I had to say like my 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 two strengths in comedy mm. that I like to is, is storytelling and social commentary. Like oh, that's okay. Social so, commentary. So, yeah. so, so and sometimes I'll mix the two in together. I'll tell a story. Like I'll, I'll have I'll be doing social commentary on something and then give a story that mix in with something like that mm. and kind of come in and out of it and and yeah, that's kind of but like one liners and uh, like. Uh, Political, trying to make a point type thing. Like, that's not really my, yeah. And mm. I'm, I'm not, and I need to get better with jokes. I'm not good with jokes. Yeah. I'm like, not, you're, I'm, you're I'm not, not a, I'm not a jokey guy. You're just natural. Like, you can pick up a topic yeah. and, like, you know, work it just, out. And then, I just yeah. kind of like, yeah, just like giving my thoughts and my commentary, throwing mm. some jokes, obviously, where I can. Yeah. But, like, lots of times for me, like, like just saying a fact. And that then, that is the joke. Yeah. Like, do you know this is that? But meanwhile, this and the other thing. Our, and like, our life is a joke. joke, like and, in and a and sense. But yeah. I'm just saying a fact. <laughs> yeah, but to me, it's like that's funny. That right? is funny, and that's the joke. So, so like, right? so like, besides besides the, like you know that part of the self fulfillment, fulfillment, fulfillment. Yeah. There's there's, there's uh, I think as an artist or a painter, there there's another thing that we also pursue. That is also like a a, 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 a source a source of communication. Like uh, uh, how in a, in a sense how for example if I put like bunch of paintings like uh, in an exhibition or, like we group paintings like one of them could be mine and then uh, as a person comes oh I like this painting there's a person comes oh I like that painting like mm-hmm. and then some painting come some painting like a lot of people uh, come people come like and then then I know I don't know these people they don't know me but through that painting we kind of have something in common like you know so it's kind of like what is it called like you know desperate attempt for like you know, communicate not desperate romantic romantic it's kind of thing in in it like I I know, in a sense, for example, you might write a joke, and then uh, you don't know who's gonna laugh at it or who's not gonna laugh at it. Right? right. And then you go like, for example, in your best kind comedy tour or like you know, in a or in a, a stand up uh, thing, and then you says it, and then then it, it might bomb, but it might like you know get like all the crowd out. Like you know, you you get that feedback. That feedback is that you're like, what is it called? That your uh, um. Well, that feedback. It's definitely the reward. Like when they're laughing at that, like it's a reward. It gives you, it's yeah. Like it's like the shot in the arm. It's like it's all your dope. It's your dopamine hit. It's your yeah. it's your drug. Like yeah, and the bombing, the bombing. bombing. It's just soul crushing. <laughs> how, how do you handle your bombs? ego crushing? <laughs> I'm better at them. I mean, I tell you, do you got like some I, tricks? Okay, in like, tricks I'm, in your I'm, I'm 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 getting really good mm. with. I'm ha- I'm good with handling my bombs mm. on material that I know is funny. Okay. Like, cause I'm like, there's a level of me that can be like, it's either I'm like, it's not for that crowd. Mm. This crowd doesn't find it funny. Doesn't mean that it's not funny. Still for a pile of other people. It's mm. just not for the people in this room. Or it's like, I was like, uh, no, it's good. No, I'm just off tonight. Maybe not in the yeah. mood or whatever. So you, you are in a level that you know, bombing, you know what sells. Like, I actually the, hate bombing mm. and new like new open mic stuff. Bombing, <laughs> no. dude. It's because it's like when you're doing something new, and especially if you bomb, if you bomb two or three weeks in a row, or like two, like two or three mics in a row with, when it's always new. Yeah, like there's this, there's this, there's this haunting. 
say it's, <laughs> that it's all over. It's like your confidence. <laughs> it's, it's over. God. You're done. Yeah. Like you, you, you. Like, it's like, did like, I lo- lose You're it? never did gonna. I, you're never gonna it? come up with something else yeah. new and funny. Like you said, every mm. everything that's funny in you mm. has been spent. And if there was anything else funny in you, <laughs> you'd be saying it. And guess what? You're not. So that is a state of moment. Yeah, because because uh. like because you're not funny anymore. Like uh, it, like yeah. and like or well, that's definitely how I feel. Mm. And I get. Um, and and you know, and every, people kind of say you got to get over that, and they're not wrong. Mm. But um, I just handle it how I handle it, man. I don't handle it too well. I get, yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate it, man. So like, for, uh, it, people, for example, comedians who are at the top of the chart. What, who's your fa- favorite comedian top of the chart? If I had oh, to do gun on my head, I'd say Bill Burr. Bill, mine, mine is Bill Burr. Yeah, like he, he just he just got that that temper. Like I love it. Oh, right? I love Bill so, Burr, man. He's so the thing so is, like funny. you know, for example, for a comedian like that, because I always think about what what what, what these artists did that I need to like you know work on myself to get that. So what what do you, what do you think that they do like to to get to become that good? Like you know, what it what it takes is it just like <sighs> a lot of a lot of everything, man. If you listen to all the all the greats, all the but what we're in a beautiful part right now where you have access. To, to, what to a lot of their thoughts and information mm. and wisdom and stories and stuff, mm. you know, and you know it's a lot of grinding. It's a lot of self belief. It's, it's, it's a work. A lot of. It's work, a lot yeah. of like you know, knowing who to cut in it. You know, who to bring in your life, who to cut out. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep going. Keep 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 going. Like and and when you're when you're riding a rough wave where you're not coming up with anything funny, just keep coming. Eventually, you're gonna hit a threshold where you're gonna tap into some funny again. Yeah. And like I've been going through a bad spot because I've had a fucking horrible year. Like I was, I told mm. you earlier. Like Tyler died, yeah, yeah, and that yeah, was right, just yeah. like, and I, and I've learned too. So like, so when he died, you have when somebody dies, like there's an instant state of like shock and mm. and survival mode that your brain goes into where you even realize you're in it or not. Mm. So there's there's all and there's always people around. Everyone else is mourning with you and everything else. There's that whole thing. So you got that. And, and then, then you got to hold but, yourself together, but, right? And, then, and you got to hold, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and, and then, but then it was like, it, and then we had to have a celebration of life. Mm. Had to plan that because you know his mom wouldn't talk to him, mm. and uh, because he got this fellowship from the cult, and she chose the cult yeah. over him. And anyways, that's a whole other fucking story. So, me and Shauna and Luke had to, like planned his funeral. Yeah, right. And then that's a whole thing. And then it wasn't long after that. Got to mm. be on tour. Yeah, gotta go on a nationwide tour now. And business be, is business, right? And, back, and, yeah. and be funny. Yeah. And when you're going through shit, and <laughs> like, like it's, it's it's like it's just, it's like it's really right hard to like but, I don't know how people handle that thing. Oh, it's like a, wild yeah, man. man! So then I go and so I do that, and the mm. tour is like whatever it was four months long. So like I've been preoccupied, mm. like. The tour has had me distracted, which I've needed. I need it because I was going crazy. The, the couple of weeks leading up to the tour, I was I, I couldn't wait for the tour to come because I was getting really, really uneasy at the mm. house and alone. But at the same time, I didn't want to be out. I only wanted to be on stage making people laugh. Yeah. And and, and that, that, that was the only thing that could get me through it, and it did get me through it. But I only got home a few weeks ago. And, like, so... The last few weeks, it's been, I've been like, oh shit, like I still haven't properly processed this because I've been too distracted. I haven't digested right? it fully. Yeah. So the last few weeks is like, it's, uh, oh, I guess like, yeah, like really, it's been really coming to terms like this is like the new normal. Like, so everyone's got the new normal after COVID. Now it's almost like I got the new normal after Toller's passing. It's how I feel. Mm. It's almost like a second weird alternate world. And it's like, so I have been in a spot where like I haven't I haven't been like feeling funny or no. creative or yeah. anything, right? And it's just yeah. like and I've been wanting I've been wanting to like fire the podcast back up. Yeah, to get the back here. <clears throat> right? And it's just like but at the same time it's just been like I don't know who to talk to, how to talk to, uh, how to talk, and, and just been like, and then you just hit me up, be like, man, I'm going to be in Newfoundland. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, like, let's like, do it. Uh, like, like, I, and I'm like, you know what? You would be the perfect yeah. fucking person for me to do this with and, and to get it going again. So like, I'm just, you're seeing me kind of going to, through To be it honest like, with you, in a sense, you know, I like, had no idea why it came to my mind yeah. to ask you, like, you know, I just like, you know, I was just, it just come to my mind. I'm like that. When something comes to my mind, I got 
and I'm, I get obsessed with doing something, I got to do it, right? Yeah. When a painting comes to my mind, I got to do it. Yeah. And by the way, like, you know, uh, sp- speaking of art, like, you know, when you said, like, you're going through that uh, ups- uh, upside down hills and uh, uh, things in your life, like, I always, like, uh, even from my point of view, every time that things, something, uh, things are going really the south for me, like, I use art as an outlet for me to calm down. Absolutely. And, like, I know, I know as, as much as, like, comedy could be hard for you when you, like, grieve, grieving and like you know try to make it happen but that is also kind of like you know can bring you back oh, to the ground buddy. too right absolutely so, man so maybe like you know this how uh, this this dude. thing happens and now like you know you could be like you know get the ball rolling and get dude, back dude comedy <laughs> saved me this year man it like, is yeah. right the only thing is that makes me worse so like half my set this year was about Tyler and, mm. and about his death right that was yeah. half my set and right now it's like and everything happens so quick and it's then, so uh, weird I'm in such a I'm in such a predicament because like in one sense, I don't want to talk about him in my comedy anymore. Yeah. Because I just want to kind of like... Keep the vibe like not always fun. But that doesn't mean to always be like that. You right? know, it's weird. Like some sense, like I don't want to, I don't want to be talking about him for the next three or four years mm. uh, or five years or whatever it may be. And at the same time, it's like I almost, I almost feel weird going... I still feel weird almost going up there and... Mm. Talking about just I don't know something silly like I don't know it's weird like I'm really in this like I'm going through it I'm really I'm I yeah. uh, I still haven't found my you're, feet you're, yet you're, you know you're what like I mean d- dwelling a little bit I think dwelling more uh, yes. overthinking it maybe like yeah just, just, just like give yeah. it up, give it man like whatever yeah. yeah I mean what else can go wrong <laughs> like I know I man. mean that is that is probably part of the your your mission right you know yeah like if you it's like, like you went through this thing and then you're still coming back and then next year another fifty. Yeah, fifty. Who knows? Like yeah. you know, you know, you know yeah. a lot of things that we like these things that we worried about. Like you know, I think ninety percent of it probably won't be happening. Who knows? Maybe like next year you just become like ten times better. It just, it yeah. just like sometimes like you know, know that man, bottom weird. push like is like is necessary. Like we yeah, can, like oh I know, man. It, how what is your life? It keeps going like this, right? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's it's full of ebbs and flows, and mm. other people are gonna pass away. It's just circle of life, and mm. you know people are gonna get sick. I'm, gonna get, I'm sure at some point in my life I'll get sick, and it's just like it's just the way life goes. Yeah, but it's like, and there's gonna be more hardships and a pile of different ways, and like I know that's coming. It's it's life, but it's just it's just weird. By I was saying like, so he passed away in March, right? Mm. So that's like nine months nine, ago. Nine, yeah. But where I'm at with the way it was, with the way with the way it's been, and with the tour and everything, like I feel and your like tour was like, in July. Started it started July, July sixth, yeah. and he died the end of March. Mm. So then, but there was a level of like, there is this, we did a celebration of life. It was the end of April, mm. so we didn't really put that the rest till then. So then there was like May and June, right? So I had those two months. And I've been home in a month. And I've been saying, like, yeah, I feel like in my head that, like, I'm at where somebody would be at probably, like, two and a half, three months after, even yeah. though it's nine months after. Because the tour sucked me out of, like... Your brain didn't I, have I, the time to yeah, process it. Yeah, yeah. Right. You just need to, like... Maybe, like, you know, this high that you can just, like, yeah. relax, like, you know, stay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's interesting, like, man. Yeah. And I'm going to be fine and mm. and whatever. And I, I already know what he'd be saying if he knew if I was, but, but it's, it, but you can't help it. Like, it's just, it's just, it's a, just, it's, it's basic human instinct that you're going to, you just, you're just going to go. Yeah, I, I can, this, I can, I can tell, like, it, even right? like we met in the car, like, you know, that we were talking about and that comes to, that is like, that is like, it, it, whatever, like you think about is, is here now. Yeah. And it's in tip of your tongue. You can't. Yeah. You cannot just let it out. Let's yeah. talk about. It. Let's have another episode. Just talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? I mean, let it out. Why not? Yeah, like, you yeah. Know, that is, so that's the right way to do it. Like, yeah. You know, the whole point of like having friends and like you know things like that is just you let out, communicate. Hundred percent. And then your fans are obviously like listening to that. That is part of your life. That is part, part of calling. Like next time Colin goes on the tour, tour, like you know, he might talk about something like to, from the heart and stuff. Like I see. It, <clears> right. It, yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like, and and that's the thing, too, and I know like bottling it up. Mm. Is the worst fucking thing you can do, especially for me, because I've bottled things up in the past and mm. it's not good. No, I, it's never. I, like I, I uh, there's people I know. I know people who have things bottled up for decades, man. <laughs> decades, like I know older people like that, yeah. and it blows my mind. And then I don't that's know how, how, that's how, how you become it. grumpy, man. Yes, <laughs> man. I don't know. How, like I can't do it. Yeah. Like uh, the best. I think the longest I could ever hold on to anything for is like maybe a year, 
two, mm. and and then like that's my track record. And then I explode, and mm. like I'm like I'm not having that happen again. So no, I'm kind of no. just trying to be like a bit of a stream yeah, of man. consciousness and just let it just flow let it through me, yeah, <laughs> flow out of me until eventually it fucking passes. You yeah, know? just yeah, just like you know, it just not that necessarily. I, I think like when you even like you hear any like stand up comedians like you no. Know, it's not like necessarily they're coming like always telling jokes. Sometimes they're talking about like even like for example Dave Chappelle. Sometimes they're talking about some like a black people problem. A lot like, of social commentary. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is that is that is part of life, right? You know, yeah. this comedy is not supposed to be always like you know me telling a joke to make you laugh. Like the, a lot of people, it's just the communication is also like you. When you tell something about yourself, obviously, c- crowd communicate with you better, understand who's Colin, right? Right. Because I, I'm not coming here to hear jokes from Colin. I also want to know who Colin is, too, right? Yeah. I think that is part of you. 100%. I mean, if that's dealing with you. It's dealing, something yeah. I've gotten from the people that like me, the people who enjoy me. Mm. They, they, that's, what, that's the feedback that I get a lot is they, mm. they feel, they really feel like they know me. And, like they, yeah. and they, could just, they just like listen to hear what I got to say. Yeah, like right? a, a genuine, a genuine person. It's not like yeah. so. I can tell. I can tell if I like Colin. I can, this is a thing about art too. Like even paintings. I, if I see that paint painting, I can say from the, the style. So, oh, that is that painter because that painter does that, right? So if I see Colin, like that is that is your signature. Yeah. That is like so. You kind of be like you know. You you always been like talking about the social things. Always letting it out, and now now it's up to you. Yeah. That's about you. You don't want to like share it with everyone. Like what, what's going on, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like why, yeah. how come we break the barrier? Like just because you you're afraid that people might not like enjoy whatever that is. Like you know. Yeah. It's, become, it's not always like you telling us uh, making us happy. There's sometimes like we gotta like you know put something on your plate too. Like you yeah. know, this is like a two way communication. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. You know? That's a how... so like yeah. So it's it's always real life events that really inspire my comedy. Mm. So like with your art and your painting, like how, how does it come to you? Do you, do you just kind of look at a blank canvas and just kind of just, mm. just start fucking around and, and, and then as it starts seeing, you start getting ideas or do you kind of have an idea before you go yeah. into it? Do you, do you see something and go, Oh, I'd like to paint that and go home and do it. Like, like how, what's like, how do you go about yours? It, like, it's like my, my process is like a, it, it I, I tell you the general idea of my process and then I tell you the details of sure. it. Sure. Like, uh, so the general is, uh, bec- that's, the, that's a part of my obsession too, right? But I might like see, for example, so watching a movie or something, or saw a scene or something, deep, when there was like, some idea comes out of, I don't know, it's on the cloud, like it just comes to my head, right? When it comes to my head, then I'm obsessed with that idea. I have to paint it. Like, so I don't think, I can't think about anything else. I can't think about any other idea. I have to do it. So a lot of artists, like if you mm. want, ex- especially, especially in, uh, in a commercial art, if you want to be successful, do a solo. You might pick a one, for example, uh, subject pattern, and then repeat the shit out of it, right? <laughs> do ten, do ten paintings just one about one subject, and then go opening an exhibition. Then have one hour talk about, oh, I, I'm obsessed with this because of this and that, right? I am not that type of artist. I, I pick one subject matter, comes to my mind, and it could be anything. I have no idea. You go, you go to my Instagram. You go like, none of those paintings are related to each other, like completely different. It can be like you know. A painting of a puffin, it could be a painting of nude, it can be like, you know, a landscape, it's, it's just that. But when I come to me, I have to paint it. So I don't know what my next painting is. <laughs> like the, I, there are some paintings that I plan to, and majority of the times when I plan, things doesn't work. Like, uh, for example, I wanted to, when I was in Newfoundland, I wanted to start doing something related to culture here. So I do a little bit of small puffin painting, and then I do, I painted a, a painting called Ascension of Mummers, so there's a mum. It's a signal healing behind. There's a mummer who is playing accordion, and there's like three cupids around it. Like it's it's like insane. Acc- accordion. That was, that was like yeah. That was like my desperate attempt try to like you no know, jet get to the. Yeah. And then it didn't work. And it was like one night it came. I was watching the. I was watching something about the the Da Vinci and stuff. And then uh, I saw the Last Supper, and I, and then I came. The idea come to me. What if uh, instead of disciples, uh, that was the time that I came from the the that puffin island in uh, Bonavista. Then I said, what if instead of the disciples, I paint puffins, but in the in the way that they're like all the ciphers is saying, like somebody like telling, like, no. So I went through pictures of these puffins and like two, 200 pictures and then captured them and put them in. And then that painting blew away. Like it just, it just like everybody loved it mm. because it was just, yeah, so it's because some it's sort of like, awesome painting. Yeah, it is. It just, everybody loved it. Then people like I sold the original people said, well, we want prints and stuff. I had no idea how it works. Right. But all I do is just, it comes to me. I just do it. Mm. That that is has been always a thing for me, and I always been working out. The, 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 some people come, hey man, like the commission, can you paint like you know I l- lost a loved one or like I lost my one of my pets, and so can you paint it for me? I do that as a commission, but like from the art point of view, th- I have been like that. 
And a lot of my, even my art mentors, they saying that, man, you gotta like start like focus on one subject and do 10 of it because that's how you can do solo. That's how you can like become in the market fame. <laughs> like, you know, but I haven't done, the, it's like, I have been like, I haven't been like that. Yeah. I don't know how, how is, how, how do you get your jokes? Like when it just got downloaded yeah. to you and like you just come, yeah, just go around, see something and then. I kind of just, uh, <clears throat> a lot of times mm. it'll just be like, for whatever reason, maybe like a funny memory mm. will come into my head that it, that I forgot about, or and it just and it just comes back to me for whatever reason, right? Mm. Like, and then I'm like, oh, I'm like, maybe I should try it on stage. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then maybe that's that, it- right? And and then sort of, or you see something in the news, or you see this and that, and then you're just like, and and your brain just starts racing. I go down all these rabbit holes in my head, and then when I'm at the end of all the rabbit holes, yeah, like, I'm, I'll go, was any of that funny? Can any that be used? And so I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. And then, and then like, I'll, I'll try that. So you got a notebook. And, so, and, I'm, and it's like I'm always just like, yeah, it's like I'm always kind of just jotting things down. Like, and I'm always just like storing things away in the vault of my brain. Mm. And the amount, the amount of stuff that's stored away in there mm. that I've always said I'm going to try and I still haven't gotten to. The amount of times, too, that I say, right, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down to a mic. And I'm going to try this, this, and this. Mm. And I'm there, and they call my name up. And as I'm walking to the stage, I got full. I'm, yeah, I'm this full, is your time. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. This is what I'm doing tonight. And I grab the microphone. How's it going, guys? Da, da, blah, 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 da, 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 da. And, and boom, and next thing you know, it's 10 minutes. And I did a completely different 10 minutes. That I don't know where the fuck it came from. <laughs> and I had no idea. No yeah. idea was in there. Didn't plan to do it. And yeah. everything that I planned to you say, I, it. I never did it all the time. <laughs> and I never, and I don't ever mean to do it. Yeah. I don't ever say I'm going to go yeah. down there and freestyle. Yeah. Because if I say I'm going to go down there and freestyle, like I'll just go, I'll go up and freeze. Yeah. And I'll, you, I, you I have an idea of a topic but like it just comes out naturally and, and, and I just yeah. uh yeah but here's the thing is that I have an idea mm. but then what I do is no nothing not even close to the idea I can have stage I go what the fuck was that yeah. why did I do and say any of that and I, and I'll get especially mad at myself if it bombs because <laughs> yeah. then I'll be like oh, what the fuck was that that was <laughs> a waste this? I was supposed to do this other stuff instead I went up there with that nonsense that I didn't even plan to say <laughs> that was good and it's just like oh, but, but like you can go the other way too like, oh you can, like, man really, I still like, don't, like, I still don't know what I'm at I'm still, <laughs> I still, I still I, don't I, know I, what I'm <laughs> professional comedian here like, I still don't know what I am <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought we were going to help each other boost, <laughs> boost each other <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, like I, I, I just do yeah. I kind of just <laughs> I still don't know what I'm at <laughs> okay okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I still don't know what I'm at <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get that t-shirt <laughs> but think of it this way uh-huh. you know what people were saying okay you gotta do with, with, with artists say you gotta stick to this one thing you gotta yeah. do this that that that, that, that. And, and you know you know that's good advice. Yeah. Right? But for whatever reason, you just gotta do what comes to your head. Yeah, I, I go I go I go to the painting and then in the middle I switch it. I don't right. go to, I go I could take a turn. Yeah. But that's like I, me. Yeah, I take I, a pivot. So yeah. I go to the stage, yeah. just like you go to the painting, yeah. and then I just switch it. Man, like there's some it's, nights, some like, nights I'm drinking I, drinking wine and I take, they take two, the pivot will go too strong. Yeah, <laughs> and then I have to so go back to it's actually very it similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's different. It you, is. You go to the paper with an idea. Yeah, and then, counters, you, and, yeah. and then you switch it. Yeah, I do that then. Right, I, I morph go, it. Uh, right, I know, I know. So this, the stage I know the is general like, idea. Right, but I don't know how. I, yeah. I work on it. It's just yeah. it's like a cooking. Yeah. Like you gotta keep. It's a push and pull between yeah. me and like you know probably push and pull between you and crowd or like you know whatever. Yeah. The thing is like. They wanted to see why humans do art, right? Yeah. And then they we went should to just study- get the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wanted to see why humans do art. So they went to study the, the, the cave arts. The first, you know, what is the first sculpture of a human being? There was a, there was a, a, a rock in the middle. Somebody, somebody carved the rock, the sharp, that, uh, in the, put it in the middle of the, the cave to show uh, the, the caveman wanted to show the other caveman how to sharpen the rock. So they can also hunt and get laid. <laughs> that, was, that, that, that was that was the first art. I'm not joking, but uh, <laughs> it's like he was the guy who was up there. <laughs> that was the first piece of art. Yeah, uh, I'll take it. Was, so, uh. but then then they see they see they see um, they went to the cave. There was one part in the wall. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> 
I thought I thought they would just club over the head. Yeah, I was like, you know, like, I, I, can, no, exactly, no, I, I no. can't be all hunting by myself, my guys. Like, <laughs> I'm hunting, coming back to cave, then I gotta take care of this women. That's too much. <laughs> we gotta do some teamwork here. Uh, Anyways, so the ne- the next thing in the, the, I said, okay, so maybe if art was like me trying to help you out, right? And then they they, they look at the walls and then they see like a. Uh, hands, red hands, like they put they put the hands in the painting apparently. So that that was I was actually it wasn't apparent. It was like they put the hand hand like they put the painting or something in their blood or whatever in their mouth and then like that. So they make a mark of a hand and then realize there's a hand a place of a man hand, the female and there's babies. They said, okay, so humans just generally enjoy it, right? It's like it's not like it's not like a lot of times you're going through the art, you're not doing it for commercial, you just like naturally love it right mm-hmm. so so you genuinely naturally love comedy yes that like you just enjoy it like you know there's something in it that there's no explanation so Dude. you can say oh how, how i do it why i do it how i come i have no idea right and, and, it, and for me it has been always like that i mm. if somebody say oh why you're born born and you like to do art but like you know i, I can't even play a piece of music via music instrument i'm not say, musically inclined yeah and then but like you know your, your girlfriend like play piano or something right she has a music degree yeah music degree so so you see, you see, like, so we don't know <laughs> why why we got to that, but but it is part of human beings that we do like it, and this is our way of like you know communicating and you know, things like it's it's, it's a more I think it's more authentic than me writing like you know if I if you say like the word love, everybody understand that word from the way that they associate it with their memory or something, right? Mm-hmm. But I can come and play a piece of violin, then you make you like file, like you know you just puts you in that state. So when it comes to art, like comedy and everything, there's like a, there's something that we can't explain, <laughs> that, but but it is natural in human beings. We we've done it from the yeah. cave art, cave art, and like you know, yeah, uh, yeah, like that's the thing. Mo- mm. Like so much of it is just is natural. Like just enjoying good conversation is natural. That's why podcasts yeah. are blowing up, right? Exactly. Artwork is natural. Like, <clears throat> and again, I guess that's why it comes back to like, despite no matter like back to the beginning of the episode here is like. You know, I'm meeting all these different immigrants through my travels. Mm. And you just realize, fuck, man, there's, there's not a lot of differences. Like, you keep, no, and it's like, we're it's way not. more similar. And, and then, you, but then you, it keeps making, it makes, it makes the state of the world mm. that much more infuriating. Because, yeah. I mean, the amount of fucking uh, uncertainty and greed, especially the greed, and, uh, and, and the wars and the turmoil and the fighting and the, and the sickness and the mm. illness and, Everything that's just going on. Yeah, it's um, like we, we and, are, we, the world is going kind of like chaos now. Like, and it's, really yeah, there's, news, and there's, yeah, and there's, there's play people, different parts of the planet that are, you know, malnourished, struggling with food and stuff. And it, mm-hmm. and it's just like, like, why is it like this? Because I keep meeting people from all around the world, and we get along easy. So why why isn't the world getting along easy? Like, why mm-hmm. aren't we all just getting along? But it, it's like this, this, this upper echelon that just can't fucking get along. Yeah, man. And Dude, it's got to get the whole fucking thing. We often world. take it for granted. Right now, just for you, for us, like living in Canada, we are in top 10% of the world. Just by living in Canada. Yeah. Like, that's how that's how the world is, like, you know, the, the living, know, living, the, the type of, like, you know. Well, again, yeah. remember, remember yeah. you talking about how, like, Canadians don't want to leave and go to your universities. Yeah, that also? makes sense. Because <laughs> deep down, we know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be like, why do I want to leave? You're in the best place out of here. Like, you guys go. <laughs> 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 the party is here. Yeah, yeah like, here, <laughs> like here the big thing is if you're from, yeah, like, you're here, from here, right? <laughs> you might go to the University of Nova Scotia, right? Yeah, okay. Get a little wild. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let, let's go to Iran and like call my dealer to get the drink, right? <laughs> imagine, imagine calling your dealer like, you know, and then the, the dealer at 3 a.m. doesn't want to deliver any more alcohol. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the here's the big thing. The, like the baby who comes into the city, right? Yeah. For university. Did you go, did they get the degree and go back around the bay? Like, not yeah. all of them, of course, but there's yeah. a lot that do that, and like that. That's it. That was their. Yeah, that was their. The... That was their heyday. Yeah, <laughs> coming to St. John's. That, that, that's that's <laughs> actually really a good thing. Island. That's like actually a good thing because yeah. uh, if uh, if the Baymen in Iran, like we got Baymens too, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so oh, yeah. they, when they come, they come to university. They, the kids, uh, they don't they don't go back to to the society to the community to add something over there. They just keep going. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like, you, know. you see, you get Baymen yeah. in Iran. What do they call them? What's the, what's the, is there like a lingo? Is there a slang? Uh, uh, um, well, like uh, in uh, so we are by the beach and there is a, we, I'm rash. There is another city called Anzali. We call them a or something. There's a Abai? name. A buy. <laughs> <laughs> Something I don't know. That's what you call the guys a boy. A boy. No, he's not a boy, but he's a boy. We call it them in, English, in our language. 
Yeah, so yeah. buy Bayman's and Rhino buy. buy it. Yeah, what about what about what do you buy? Buy buy buy. I don't know how to say. It. It's buy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah you guys have call it buys too here. Yeah. It's, it's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's like we got the same language. Yeah, the yeah. buys. The buys should be. Yeah. Yeah. So that that area that I'm talking about, that city, they're, they're more fishermen and stuff. That's why I call them. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. here, like mostly mostly fishing fishermen fishermen communities and. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the, it's not mm. as many fishermen as used to be growing up. Like, I mean, back in the day, people mm. used to, like the amount of men used to drop out of school and just go fishing. And man, pff, some of them are fucking millionaires, man. There's, yeah, yeah, there's millionaires. There's millionaires yeah, in the that own their own <laughs> boats, and they dropped out of school in grade six. Yeah, go fishing with their father, and by the time they're in their twenties, they're on their own boat. By the time they're in their forties, they're millionaires. They got a bigger boats, and then now yes, people they got a bunch of skippers on the go. Yes, it's crazy, <laughs> yeah. man. Like like that, like, like yeah. you know, and and now they're now they're yeah, now they're in their sixties and seventies and. Bunch of them are, you know, you know, whatever. But like, it's not, it's not like that now. Like to the, to the point. But now, time. now, now, because before we used to drop out mm. to go into the fishery, and now people, what to do is they they hang on, they just get through school, yeah. and then they get a trade, and then they and, leave and then they go, and, then, and now the big thing is instead of going going offshore mm. for fishing, you're going offshore for oil, or yeah, you, or you're going right and working on the rigs, or you're going you're going away to Alberta. So who's going to take care of those if they continue those fishing in the industries? Like, no, I mean, there will. There's still, there's still obviously there's still people that graduate mm. high school and become fishermen or not even there's still there's still people who drop out of high school mm. uh, and go fishing there there will always be fishermen yeah but like way back in the day so we had the uh, the cod moratorium like I don't know if you've heard of it but mm. the cod fisher here in Newfoundland was the, the, the reason everybody here so back I'll give you a little history lesson because yeah, yeah, you know I'm in like, 14, yeah. 1497 yeah <clears throat> this is this is what the modern That's day like history books say. Is that John Cabot from yeah. from Europe? He came over and he discovered Newfoundland. He oh, was, okay. he, but I believe he was he was trying to find somewhere else, and he bumped into mm. Newfoundland. I believe is the story. But when he came here, mm. it was just like he landed in Bonavista. Okay, and like the amount of codfish that was there that was there was, was 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 would hurt your brain he was like so, buys real estate so, they say, <laughs> so they're saying they, i they, found they, the mine you could just take yeah. a bucket like yeah. these to be the like, canadian heritage moment commercials and just show them like a reenactment yeah just, just on the boat just putting a bucket yeah down into the water and you just lift the bucket up be full of codfish like it was just oh, like, like, it was like like that like like it was just peppered it was yeah. like it was like there's enough cod. The, the, the famous words was he went back yeah. went back to Europe and said there's enough codfish, and and off the coast of this place, till the to last until the end of time. Ooh, right. <laughs> that that that's that's the quote. Yeah, uh, or it wasn't the the commercials. So Jesus was from Newfoundland then. Yes, <laughs> yeah. John <laughs> Cabot was like Jesus, <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. So then he came over, yeah. and the fishing was just nonstop, right? And it was like you could go out there. Year after year after year after year, and you could haul up nets and nets and nets and nets of fish. Mm. And every year, sure enough, there would be more and more nets, more, more and more nets. Just, and how one, how finally, it just unlimited amount of right. Fish it was just crazy. That did that for decades. Yeah, but the draggers ruined everything. Get these big fucking boats, these big yeah, draggers. They've been industrial and, ones, industrials, and, then and they just over. ruined the fishery. Essentially, is what happened, right? Mm. So, and then eventually, it started to get like not as plentiful. So they did the cod moratorium where they just like banned cod fishing mm. for like they put like heavy restrictions on cod fishing. And it was only supposed to be for a limited time. It's 2023 now. It's never gone back. Oh, okay. and, and, and the reason Newfoundland fishermen are so upset from what I understand, and I, this is just what, you know, because I'm, I'm not, I don't know as much of it as I should being from here. Mm. But <laughs> what really pisses Newfoundlanders off is how. We still have all these restrictions on type of fish that we can catch and how much of it we can catch, right? Like whatever yeah. it is, cod, crab, etc. But the Spanish and the Europeans, they can come the, here and they, the they same come thing. over yeah. and they come right to right right to, to be honest, right, man, right, right is, to the brink where they're allowed and and fish it all up. And yeah. the Spanish government and other countries, they don't ever put. They don't ever put restrictions on it. So it's like having us banned yeah. from it isn't solving a damn thing. Because yeah. like they're just doing extra fishing. They, they just take, take it, take it from catch. your plate and then give it to them. Yes. Like so it's not And then we buy it off them. And then you <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy, right? Yeah, it's the same thing, I think, in Iran too, man. Like in even in Caspian Sea, like no, we we had the same issue. We we had our own things and then 
Then uh, they put some Chinese ships over there, and then they come like when they ships come, like they, they empty the area. Yes, <laughs> man. It's like the, yeah. They, 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 I don't know how they, they design well. They just yeah. There's got for there's the, got to be some real mm. higher table bullshit going on. Mm. There must have been some European closed door meeting with Canada, being like, "You got to get Newfoundland under control." Somebody, and they yeah. can't do because this is our. You, fucking you guys fish. give us that. That yeah. like we give you it, that. Or yeah, something. And <laughs> closed door deals. It got to be because it makes yeah. no fucking sense, and it's infuriating. So, so it is. And so right now, during the course of these years, the fish, fish, fish industry in Newfoundland is completely hurt. Like, they're like, you, you'd have some bunch no, of No, no, no. There's, there's, there's still fishermen here making mm. money, mm. but it's, it's it's rare. And it's not like it was. Mm. Like, it used to be, it used to be, why are you even going to school? Yeah, like. Just drop out. Go fish. Yeah, You I mean, will like, make money. Yeah, you go and crab you fishing, you got a little lobster, everything. Yeah, and if you're ambitious and you're hard working, and you're good with your money, you can actually yeah. work your way up and eventually someday you can own your own boat. And, and you can work like, like you know, one season, rich. like be off, like, you know, up with other season yeah. and still be set. And not to mention most men, mm. especially back in those days, they, they like, like fishing, that's like us being able to get paid for comedy and painting. That's what they'd yeah, love to do I for I think like living. 90% of they, Canadian fish was coming from Newfoundland. This area, some sort of like uh, could be. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the number four makes sense. I mean, there's only. I mean, there's a lot of provinces that are landlocked. I mean, that whatever, area so. around Newfoundland and like what is it called? That Nova Scotia, what, yeah, what Newfoundland, no, like Atlantic Canada, Atlanta, yeah, yeah, yeah. most of it's Atlantic Canada. Well, I mean, it's not. It's definitely not coming from Alberta, BC. No. I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, Al- no, Alberta, no, no. some fishery I was having yeah. in BC, but Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, you know, Ontario and Quebec aren't doing a whole lot of fishing. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's uh, have yeah, you done fishing? Atlantic Canada. Uh, oh, yeah, I've done cod fishing and jigging and cod jigging and growing up, I did a lot of, a lot of trouting, right? So with the rod, Trout, me, yeah. me and dad used to go cast the rod at a, at a lake. I had the most fun ice fishing, man. Catch it on ice I fishing. See, it's so fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got to go back and try it as an adult. Cause my, mm. I used to do it with dad as a, ch- as a child. Yeah. And, uh, I think I just, uh, I don't know if it was the ADD in me or, or what, but I just found, I just found ice fishing Way, way too more. Also, no, it's like, not. It's not like no. You should not do it that way. Like the thing is, uh, well, I went to. I saw some fun fishermen friends that we used to play poker with, and then we went to um, Cape Royal. So what we did is like twenty. There were twenty people on the skidoo. They were all fishing. When we went on, they were they drove like I don't know, two hours to get to that part of the lake that they want. They they drilled like hundred hundred like uh, holes, and then we went to go pick, pick, pick. So yeah. I, my first experience of ice fishing, I picked 15 fish. <laughs> right. So <laughs> I used to go with Dad, and Dad might cut like a hole or two. Oh, okay. I could just be there for like an hour. Yeah, that requires On a patience. cold lake, just, just <laughs> no. ice fishing, just me <laughs> and him. And then if I started walking around too much or talk too much, he'd be like, give it up, you're f- scaring the fish away. And <laughs> scaring the fish away. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like, don't talk. Yeah, I came here yeah, to yeah, say, yeah, man, like, yeah, relax. Like, uh, fuck, man, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd, rather just, I'd rather just stay home and play video games and stuff. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes, but yeah. like, yeah, like I, I, I just didn't. But like now, but but fishing, like trouting, like walking in through the woods, mm. right? Whether it's a whether it's a ten minute walk or an hour walk or whatever, the experience going, of it, yeah, the adventure like, of it. Yeah, like I, I used to love like the smell of the trees, the birds chirping. Like the only thing you hate was the mosquitoes. Like, the mosquitoes drive you fucking mad. But other than mosquitoes, <laughs> every, <laughs> everything else was just beautiful. Love. And then you get at the pond, right? And you know, and then you're just casting, and you know, you're wa- you're walking around, and you're mm. trying to find a spot. Maybe you see you can see some trout breach, and you're like, oh, there's trout over there, mm. and you go there, and you're you're kind of in hunt mode. I got to get over there and get them, and you <laughs> go there and you, and you hook them, and there's the fight, like the whole yeah. the whole <laughs> thing of reeling them in, like is way more exciting than trying to with a fucking stick or whatever, trying to bring it up to a hole. Like <laughs> I just, I just, like I love that. I love yeah, going to like I, I love I love that piece too. Like you just go. Is yeah. there things that like like what, what do what do men like to do? Nothing basically. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just want to sit there, like no, this is like, this is like our best thing. Yeah, what so do, what, what yeah. do women hate to do? Nothing. Like, no, yeah. that's, that's it. They can't. They cannot do nothing. This is impossible. Oh like, yeah, like, like yeah. yeah, like oh, Bill Burr, like like, 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 like he, like women are just jealous that we can just like, sit yeah. there. Oh, you're free. And just you're not free. Really think of nothing. Have, fuck all. Yeah. Do nothing and have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> and then women are like, let's, like, he's free. Let's fill up the schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go shopping. Oh, let's fill it up with shit. Yeah, let's fill it up with shit. Oh, I see. I see you do nothing on this yeah. day let's fill it up with shit <laughs> that's what I love that guy man. he's oh, like he's so good yeah mm. ah it's a it's asparagus yeah. it's a spa- I thought it was pesto yeah. is it uh, is no, it no 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 it's pesto I thought it was asparagus it's pesto pesto <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah you can do imitations over there. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you just need to like paint your beard ginger a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, he's my yeah. favorite. I uh, I actually don't listen to a whole lot of his stuff mm. because uh, I'll never forget the night I really caught myself. I was up on uh, as a was in a Wednesday night, mm. uh, which was like the local nights for yuck yucks, and I was doing some new stuff. And I remember in the middle of my set, I was about five minutes in. I was only doing ten, mm. and I really. Really caught myself in the middle having it. I was like, "Oh my god!" I was like, "That sounded really." I was watching a bunch of Bill Burr. Yeah, yeah. It just and I did it subconsciously. I didn't mean for. It. I really didn't yeah, mean yeah. for. It. And I was like, "That sounded like Bill Burr." And I go, "Everything I've been saying is like Bill Burr." And I was like, "Not not the material, but the, the delivery, the, the, and the, the cadence, the way, right?" The, the, that that is actually a very common yeah. thing uh, in in yeah. art in general. They say that uh, what's uh, Picasso is like who's who's the best artist? Uh, the the best best artists are the thieves. Uh, they they steal it from the other artists. Yeah. Like like I I do some something that I like to do that improve my art uh, painting a lot. Yeah. I pick the specific painters who's very very good. For example, Rembrandt, like you no, know, uh, Basquiat, like any anything in the different realms. Then I study their life, what they went through, what what type of person they were, yeah. And then like you know, then I their brush strokes, their techniques, and then I try to imitate them, do them one one thing, one time like them. Yeah. Once do that painting, I learn their skills and grab it, like you know, get that tone of strings, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm <laughs> done with that person. Go. So uh, during the arts, even like uh, in paintings, in like singing, music, like you know, a lot of artists that grew uh, become good. They they imitated or copied from the... Or yeah. Got it. So that is part of the procedure. Don't be worried about, yeah. like, you know, you go be the, out there and be like Bill Baird. That is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. As long as you're able to check yourself, though, and don't be trying to, like, to, yeah, copy, be here. Because yeah. a lot of comedians, like, <clears throat> and I get it, like, they, it makes sense. Like, mm. you know, you want to be successful. You want to be funny. You want to mm. have a career at it. You want to be whatever. So it's, it's natural to, and, and like, and your sense of humor is your sense of humor. Yeah. Right? So... You're going to be watching comedians that you find funny, mm. right? So, like, you agree with those things, you find those things funny. So, yeah, it's natural for you. To, by it, yeah. yeah, so it's also natural for you to be joking and talking about that stuff if that's what if that's yeah. what you like. So, it kind of goes hand to hand. <clears throat> and you think, well, like, talking like that and doing material like that, that's what people want to hear. It's what I want to talk mm. about. So, and you do it. And a lot of comedians get caught up with, like, Trying to be, but but if you look at almost every successful comedian, they right, they talk they, to each other. They like no. Well, but hold on. They, but like, so say for example, Bill Burr, right? Mm. He's not trying to be anybody else. No, he's not. Like he he had his favorite comedians. You know he did. Yeah, but he doesn't sound like him. No, he doesn't sound anything like him. He no. sounds like himself. Yeah, he's authentic. Right. He, yeah. right? Yeah. Same thing, George Carlin. Same thing with mm. you know what I mean. Jeffries, all the greats, yeah. right? So you realize that's that's when you realize all oh, the key is not not trying to be. Like them, mm. it really is what like be nothing like them, mm. right? There is only one of you. Yeah. Really tap into your voice, be yourself, because that's what they're doing, right? And, and, and so you got to get deeper with it, because if, if you just look at the surface of it and think, oh, that's what I got to do, mm. then you're just being an imitator that will never reach their level. No, right? no, yeah. But yeah. it's it's got to come from deeper within. Yeah, you, you, be can, you cannot be disassociated with yourself. You can, it, yeah. in, the, in the process of like trying to do something, you can't lose yourself. But like you can, you can like get the idea, but it's something from someone. You and can learn. Add your yes. own creativity into it and yeah. morph it to the something else. Like yeah, the, the yes. same, same last yes. supper puffin that I did. Da Vinci did it. Yes. Like what's what I want to do? And that's I'm part of evolution. Yeah, yeah, it is how. And like people, like the, even though when the people when they see like a little bit of sense of that in it, but like they see how you creatively add your own creativity and come make something out of it, that that is also like the part part of it. Like yeah, it makes now, it more fun. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. But it's just like I I know like I uh, I get really like. I get really into things when I get into them, mm. so like that's why I has, I did stop watching them because I, I just know. And you keep watching, not, not, not totally. Head, I don't yeah. I don't get like like I was I used to watch this shit every day. Ah, so like, that was became like the thing. Your mind is not to stop thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> but, right. Well, here's the thing: is that yeah. whenever you watch anything, anytime mm. you're watching anything, mm. you're not you're not you're not checked into yourself. You're checked out. And your you're tu- and, 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 yeah, yeah, and you're speaking. tuning into something else, and you're on receive mode, mm. right? Yeah, you're con- and you're and you're constantly there. So and that, whether it's the fucking news, comedian, music, no matter what it is. Mm. So I I stopped watching a lot of that stuff. You just spot and, it, and, yeah. and, and the, the boss always make fun of me because it's like the boss always make fun of me for how often I go for drives, <laughs> right? I go for drives. And then all the time, I'll just hop in the car, and then listen. and they're like, "Where did you go?" And no, I, 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 I just 
nothing on. Sometimes I might have, sometimes I'll podcast music on a bit, whatever. But last time I just drive in silence. <laughs> to, right. to empty your mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, because because here's the thing. Because yeah. now you're checked into yourself. Yeah. Because when you're sitting in silence, you're right. You're with yourself, and then yeah, you now you're in. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because when when because because you're either in or you're not. You're mm. in or you're out. Yeah, yeah. There's none of this, right? So when you got the radio on, you got music on, you got podcasts on, you got TV on, you got whatever. You're around people. You're mm. always you're checked into everything around you, right? But you need to get checked into yourself to to truly tap into your voice, into your thoughts, into your creativity, mm. right? Yeah. So it's like so I like I always just go for drives to reset yourself from the yeah man yeah and, I think, and, and, I think and, you gotta and, do and, it yeah and, yeah. and to try to be like what but what are my <laughs> thoughts though yeah and like what what's my who, who's, voice? who's me who's like, me yeah yeah, yeah. I, I do have that problem too so the thing is a lot of uh, painters like you know they become they be, they did so much painting they finally realize okay I am this I cannot do that like I'm still like all over the place yeah I I this I'm in the process of like finding myself yeah and I you still don't know don't, who I, I still don't know who I am <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I am well, I, I know what, yeah. I know who, I got these skills and this and that yeah but I haven't figured out it, it, I think it's in this is like a, what is it called journey of a lifetime of yeah. a, an artist like you well, you as a comedian like you know the more the maturity you become, like, you know, you're more like you know who you are and your, right. is your topics, right? Right. Well, maybe you laughed at me a minute ago because I, I, or a minute ago, fuck, half hour ago, whatever it was. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, I still don't know what I'm at, right? Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Well, you is. still don't know what you're at. You're so still, you, I mean, I don't know what I want either. <laughs> yeah, I guess we just yeah. two, two big artists. We don't know who, who we are, whatever we are. I mean, I hope, I hope, how, how old are we? 30 something. <laughs> we're, still, we're still confused. Like, you know, like, eventually, we're it's weird. Like, 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 I know, I know mm. more about myself than I ever have. Mm. I'm more in tune with myself than I ever have been. And I know myself and I know what I'm at mm. more than ever. And at the same time, I still don't no. fucking fully yeah. got it, man. Like, it's, and, but, but you listen to, Again, you listen to a lot of wise people, a lot of great people, a lot of successful mm. people, and they tell you that never kind of really, really leaves. Like you always, you always, you're always learning more, and you're always getting closer, and closer. But it's I think like, the pursuit, like there's no pursuit finish of line. it, yeah, it's pursuit no is uh, what I think what's more like uh, what's got fulfilling. Like you know that uh, you yeah. always have something to look look into. Like you dig deeper and deeper and deeper, and then like you find out more about you, and then yeah. then through that uh, journey, I think your material just become more mature and mature, and like you know, yeah. because then like you might like you know right now in a write down a joke and like you know that okay I got the crowd with this joke sells and then maybe 10 years from now you're gonna perfect that joke yeah because they just like you know just know so much about yourself and crowd how you communicate yeah. so it's the same thing for in my art too but like in my art I'm still exploring. I'm, I'm still like you know all over the place. I don't know. I don't know how people associate. Maybe they might associate me with my style and my brush strokes. Yeah. But they they, um, they they don't associate me with the specific things. They, they, if I put a painting of uh, me here and then you look at me, you, you look at it. You might not sure that is that if you don't if you don't you don't if not my, it's not like it's my signature yet. You, you might say okay this painting is beautiful. That painting are these the same artist? No, <laughs> you know that's the thing. Like you know I haven't like. But and and uh, for me, like I don't want to like sometimes boil down to specific things, because then it be, be I do enjoy this like you know diversity of it too like you know I, but like I guess yeah it's like you're a comedian like when they when it's, when you, you want to see some here somebody hear the material say okay this is this is Colin this, yeah this is his signature <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know here's the thing we were talking about this too beforehand like me mm. and you can talk easily yeah, do you, do, can, do, do you know this been, this one's been like an hour, feel days. this is roughly an hour and a half now and it, it is yeah it, it is. I mean look how quick we that went like job. I told you we, we could talk five six hours easy yeah. there's no, no doubt in my mind and, and the Newfie podcast yeah. one and a half hour that's like three hour information right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, talk, we talk fast this is so fast there's a lot <laughs> yeah. back to yeah. that uh, so yeah. we'll, end it, we'll end it off with this mm. uh, uh, and we'll end it off on a good note so um Tell, uh, I want to know what, what's the things that, uh, you dislike or hate the most mm. about Newfoundland and mm. what's, and what's something that you like, you love the most about Newfoundland. We'll go with hate first. You can be mm. funny with it if you want. And, yeah. and, then, and then we'll end it off on the love. What, like, what, what I, what I, what I like yeah. the most and what I dislike. Uh, yeah. And what, what you dislike the most. So what do you dislike the most? About Newfoundland, or, or or even the biggest shock, but like, yeah, like, what's your thing? Is it the weather? The the weather has got to be on top, man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's like it was like a generic answer. The weather, like, dislike yeah, like the yeah. most. Um, uh, I I I think like in in general, like you know. Uh, I mean, that, I had the same thing like about uh, this, same, maybe the same feeling about the Iran too, and then I came to find the same thing. It, it, it just, it just so hurts me when I when I go to, for example, you go to an area and then you want to settle, and then um, 
it just so happens that that area doesn't offer you, it doesn't have enough potential. It doesn't offer you enough to just settle there. Right. Like, why do I need to f- go from Iran and then go all the way to Nar- Then I'm, I'm in Nifan, and now I'm set, try to get it. And now there's not uh, no job opportunity. Now I gotta jump out, like you know. Yeah. And then how? Like, why? Why is it so hard? Like, we come. I mean, like you know, in, right now in being in Canada, so it's, it's Canada is like a, a slight a lot better com- uh, country. They can like take care of this area too, as well as they taking care of the other provinces, right? Right, <laughs> like, but so, they don't though. Yeah, but like they so, give us the so minimum. So everybody bit. like here, all the young adults, like with the potentials or like you know talents or something, they get forced to. Yeah, they leave like you know and go to the better place. So, so that this is like so you the know, lack of opportunity. Yes, yeah, so that, that I think that's going to be a top of the chart. Like right, top of the chart. That that could be that these things can like result in a bad economy of that thing that uh, that province not grow. And I know what the, the economy goes down. That means that like you know drug usage, poverty, a lot of other, all, all the other like bad things can follow. Right, you know that's how that's how that's how the gist gist of it. It could be like the, the same scenario that I had. Like I do, I, I I love going to explore new things, but at some point like I'm like you know relax and like you know it's yeah like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And that's gonna be the top one. Yeah. That makes sense. And, and listen, brother, you uh, you just said what we all feel. Yeah. There's a it lot is. of people here that feel mm. exactly that. Yeah. yeah. That gotta be. That gotta yeah, be. That's, yeah. That's. I'd say four out of five people would say that here. Yeah. Right? Like, There's some people that goes, I don't give a fuck. I'd I'd, I'd work at Tim Hortons and not leave. Like they don't opportunity fucking yeah, they don't but care, like, right? But they're not ambitious but that people, is the and they just yeah, yeah. and yeah. they just love it here, and they don't want to leave, and mm. and that's that. But most people would agree with that, right? Yeah. So. There's, I think that I think there's enough opportunities, even in terms of like oil and stuff like that. I think maybe like the businesses should, if the money somehow find a way to come back to the new fee pockets, <laughs> pocket of new fees people, then peace province can grow too. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not a very hard thing to. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, there there might be some uh there could be more work coming here too, but I don't know if it, I don't know if your degree works or that like mm. but anyways we talk about that afterwards. But yeah, let's let's think of positive things gonna, yeah, gonna get better and, so, and it will get yeah, better. Yeah, well that's why I wanted to end on the <laughs> We're positive. gonna find a way to make it yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what so I mean coming from Iran, mm. coming in New Flame, being completely shocked like this wasn't what you thought you were mm. coming in like you thought mm. you were coming to canada mm. and you came to something that's technically canada but it's nothing like the rest of canada in a lot of ways yeah yeah um you know you were completely taken off guard mm. you walk away like what what do you really love about newfoundland the most i mean for the point where your family is in france and iran and for christmas you're coming here yeah like, so like, you clearly love it like so what is it that you that, that love is the actually most that here? is actually the the, my action is actually come out of the what I what I truly is. Um, what I really love about more than Newfoundland because when I came here, I was I was still a student and a student wasn't that much income or something. It was a, like tough, tough. And I it was during these couple of years there was multiple times that I ended up in really tough spots. Yeah. Like even like survival, like you know coming trying to get my rent going to go. You know yeah you've all been been there right. And uh, during the course of these events, like there were like so many friends here that I had like new Newfie friends, and then they come up step up and helped. And this is what I really appreciate from mm-hmm. here because, like, it was it was like yeah I had writing friends but like the thing is the thing that you get it from like some people who, at the beginning you don't associate yourself with but like you know then that is like you know and that's what what like uh, makes me like truly really love it I said that the, the, the top chart like the tippy thing about you know, people are very friendly but they're very down the earth and like when you need it they come to help mm-hmm. that is my that is like the sealed seal the deal for me like yeah. that's, that's why like I'm on holiday here and then like I'm appreciating this uh, this all of the help that people did all of the love that people showed and then even like to us my art and everything they supported me in that in that direction mm-hmm. so I mean like there's there's no there's no shortage of like no <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah a lot of love for this place yeah it's exactly exactly that is uh, that is actually my answer <laughs> yeah yeah that's <laughs> awesome man yeah, yeah. that's wicked man. yeah it's a sense of community I guess like when it gets it right down to it mm. yeah which is which is a beautiful thing and it's, that's that's deep rooted through culture because it's, it's always had to be that way because it is it, it yeah. was I mean as, I hard, as, it, as like, hard as it is to live here now you can imagine what it was like hundreds of years ago mm. I mean the weather was way worse there's way less technology yeah. right there was way there was way less medical uh, advancements and stuff like it was so you if really that, that's how you people really, like learn to hook how you had to survive hook, hook was to be together yeah, and that's yeah. just gotten passed it down right like, yeah. so it's a big I mean like you know uh, <laughs> like you know how many is the more, no, we get we need to get to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're ready for the next yeah. one right? yeah. next time. We, don't, we don't have to deal with that yeah, so we get storm chips <laughs> yeah it's storm chips <laughs> uh, yeah. plug your uh, plug your social medias I guess before everyone wants to look at your artwork stuff Instagram and, and that like, yeah. uh, uh, so I had a website it's down now but it will be back soon uh, My uh, right now you can all, uh, um, 
search my name on uh, Facebook, Payam Puyafar, or like uh, uh, Instagram, uh, Payam Brushes Strokes. So that's how we communicate too. Yeah. Uh, so you, people can how probably... You, and how do you spell that? P-A-Y-A-M. P way yeah P A Y and brush strokes yeah brush strokes right all right and I'll and I'll, and I'll have that put in the description and, it, yeah. and, the and yeah. come it's uh, captions and and all that stuff right yeah. uh, when when do you go back um, I'm fly I'm flying 29s to go to Toronto to see if some of my friends over there and then finish the new year with them and then go back to Vincent. Cool call. yeah so trying trying to get a little bit of everything <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but I'm here till 29 so well man I'm glad yeah. you came back glad to yeah, see man. you again. glad you reached out thank same, you because same. I um you actually helped get me. Because, like, I've been saying to get back, I want to get this done and stuff, but I know what I'm like. I, I would have went, I would have, I would have been, I would have went to January before I fucking finally yeah. done one of these. <laughs> but you reaching out, being like, I really want to do this, yeah. really helped me put this together today. Mm. So I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to see you again. Thanks for reaching out. Thank and, you. Uh, and same, man. Thank you for exactly ex- ex- oh, me course, saying man. yes to this and we get it to happen. I'm, just, I'm very, uh, feeling very gifted now. Yeah, <laughs> wicked, man. And Thank we'll, uh, next time you're back in Newfoundland, we'll do another one. Oh yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, who knows? Like maybe that that time I'll be famous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that time I know I know what I'm at. Yeah, at that yeah. time. Hopefully, <laughs> ho- hopefully you get fa- <laughs> hopefully you get famous. Finally, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out. <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> yeah, come back, figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Know what I'm doing. Know what I'm at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And ho- I, and hopefully you get famous from this because that'd be good yeah, for both no, of us. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. We should get the t-shirt done. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you. All right, cheers.